Uh, what happened last time? Especially because half the party wasn't tell. here. <laughs> you do a great, you do a great recap, Rich. Why don't you start and I'll fill in the holes? All right. So we <laughs> we convince uh, Kazaya the bird and Benji the bear to give us some of his fur, uh, perhaps a lost tooth or a claw, uh, and to try to to. to create some evidence that we have slain this creature uh, to go back to the clearing so that we can get our reward, they can escape and no longer be hunted by the Marquisat soldiers and mercenaries and uh, all things will end well. We got some corpses out of the trees to bring back with us to make it look like we brought back some of the uh, mercenaries and we recovered their bodies. We skinned one of them alive. Not alive. He was already dead. We skinned him, though. <laughs> Stuck Benji's fair, fur to his uh, to his skin to make it look like it was a Benji pelt. And uh, we went out and we, we covered ourselves in blood. And it was a scene. So we get back to... Did uh, stab me in the liver? Yes. Oh, that's right. We had to, we had to rough Jesus. up... We had to rough up Brumley to make it look like you fought Benji. Clawed me in the face three times. Yep. Uh, like Zoro style, it's like yeah. a bear would never do that. <laughs> right. Um, our two our two companions uh, uh, were missing. Uh, they they ran away from Benji for fear that he might go bloodlust again. Um, and as we made our way back to the clearing, we signaled for help, and we found some uh, you know some guards that were on the outskirts of the town who told us that they would help us, uh, having seen the state that we're in and the corpses that we had with us, but also that they captured two uh, members of the Woodland Alliance, a chipmunk and a toad or a frog. (laughs) Uh, Are you a toad or are you a frog? A frog. Okay. A chipmunk and a frog, uh, two members of the Woodland Alliance. Uh, So we get into town. We convince the the giant ram man that... uh, we, we did the job. Uh, he determined that we only brought back 10% of Benji's pelt and not his whole pelt. So instead of 5,000 gold pieces, we got 500. And then they took half in taxes. So now Booker, <laughs> so now Booker has sworn to burn down the entire playwright. Uh, his new mortal enemy is taxes. Uh, so taxes, we'll see you in root hell. Um, then, uh, then after that, we decided we needed to... Oh, we also decided we were going to uh, free the Woodland Alliance because we could bring them back to Benji and Kaziah, and perhaps the Woodland Alliance uh, would take them in uh, so that they had a place to go, and Benji was very excited about becoming a murderous rage weapon of war. Um, He was very excited. Oh, and it's also worth noting that Benji was living out there in the first place uh, because even though he's the tallest, meanest creature we've ever seen in our lives, he was too small and too nice to be a barbarian. So he was excommunicated by his uh, brothers and sisters, perhaps? Yeah. Okay, his family. They excommunicated him because he was too small and too nice. We're very sad. Uh, so to get everybody out of the jail, to, to spring him from the clink, so to speak, we decided to team up with Nestor <laughs> and help him get his groove back so that we could cook uh, a fantastic feast for the uh, Viscount. Uh, well, the Viceroy. The Viceroy. I knew it was not the Viscount, but I kept saying Viscount all week. The Viceroy. Uh, because the Viceroy is going to have a magnificent last meal uh, with these Woodland Alliance, uh, alleged Woodland Alliance people before he hangs them all. Or she hangs them all. Sicko. Um, she hangs them all. Absolutely. Uh, so we, we go to uh, Big Cluckers uh, <laughs> General Store uh, to buy all the supplies that we need for, the, uh, for this feast. And what was his name? The guy that ran the store? Uh, I, I don't remember. To be honest with you, I don't. I have him. Wasn't it Big Clucker? <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. That, that check that tracks. So Big Clucker owns Big Clucker's general store. Um, and we bought everything that we needed there, including uh, uh, something to uh, knock them out. Uh, we're going to drug, our plan is to drug the Viceroy and uh, any other potential Marquis 8. Uh, Marquis, it was a, yeah, uh, it, was a, it was a very technical. It was a uh, Al's. Yeah, it was, it was like Zalium. Like Valium. Valium. Some shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, oh, and then we forged a document uh, because we did not have the one that Hazel stole. Right. We f- he needed cred- <laughs> Nestor needed credentials uh, to, uh, to 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 convince the viceroy to hire us. Um, so we forged uh, we forged a document. We had a really awesome eighties montage in the kitchen. Where we created uh, all of the amazing things that we made. We made uh, some sort of a oh spider rangoon, 
Spider Spider uh, Rangoon was the Spider Rangoon. It was Snail Wellington. <laughs> Snail Wellington. I thought it was Spider Rangoon. Maybe it was Spider Some Rangoon. Some sort of a soup. Uh, and then spider Bangers and Mash. Spider Bangers. Oh, I know it was right. deconstructed. That's right. Tarantula Bangers that's and Mash. That's right. That's right. Okay. I don't know why I thought it was Rangoon. Maybe that's something for a while. I'm thinking of like the spider. Yes. Uh, from Pandaria. Yeah. There's, there's some sort know, of anyway. spider. Yeah. Uh, and then the dessert was going to be the royal honey over some sort of something or other. I can't really remember. A trifle. A bumbleberry a trifle. Bumbleberry oh. trifle. A trifle. With honey. see that somewhere. And, um. We oh and then Nestor stopped drinking, and but he had bought uh, he had bought like 452 airplane size <laughs> bottles of uh, of bourbon, and you know because without telling us, so he, we spent all of our, our all of our, our reward money basically <laughs> on yes, all of this and big cluckers and, and big cluckers, <laughs> including overpriced stationery. Yeah, that and, Fitzy uh, bought. I'm gonna make sure that we bar his front door before we burn the whole town down because he deserves to die too, uh, and. Um, and we learned that the secret recipe, the secret ingredient for duck sauce is bourbon. So he bought all of the bourbon, and that's why he fell to the drink. Uh, so Nestor got his Nestor got his groove back, and we we whipped up a delicious meal. And as we go, to, oh, and we made sure to only poison the dishes that were plated in a certain order, so that the viceroy and uh, her goons would would get the the poison dishes, Ooh. and as we walked out to serve at these plates, we saw the members of the Woodland Alliance and our two missing companions who had been captured uh, <gasps> earlier in the session, and that is where we left off. I'll let you describe that, the vice, Roy. That was really good. I thank you. I try. Hazel. What? Peggy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You sit at a grand banquet hall, <clears throat> flanking on either side Viceroy Buntilda, the leader of the clearing of Click Clock Crossing. You are trying to remember how you got into this situation. <laughs> And the details are very fuzzy. Get it? As uh, after <laughs> after being coated in uh, cold soup, uh, cold stew by the crossbow bolt that Kaziah had shot at Hazel, uh, Hazel uh, sprinted away and had gotten very distracted by a very clear trail of uh, bumbleberries I'm in sorry, the woods. What was the cold soup? We had you, a bag of stew that exploded. The left, it was Grumley's leftovers, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you had a sack of it. Yeah, you had a sack of it. I was like, what? <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> and you followed it. Uh, ooh, Bumbleberry. Ooh, Bumbleberry. Ooh, Bumbleberry. Ooh, bumbleberry. And off into the woods, and Peggy had noticed that you had wandered off and gotten very distracted while uh, Bitsy, Grumley, and Booker dealt with the bear and the bird. And much the Booker <laughs> everything. <laughs> and Grumley and Bitsy were just there. That's fair. That's right, the, you're the muscle, man. That's why we, yeah. yeah, you're the muscle. And it, you were led to you followed the trail until uh, unfortunately you noticed too late that the forest floor opened up beneath you and you fell into a large pit oh, no. and were surrounded by bandits <clears throat> almost immediately. They had, and to much to Peggy's surprise, they had anti-magic maneuvers, which was just taking all of her stuff. <laughs> Send in the anti wizard. Taking all of her stuff, Fuck. which they then. Uh, you can't stop me from getting naked. That's true. You can't stop that. Which, uh, and after uh, realizing, uh, after, had, after uh, hearing word from uh, Pottsville that there was a group 
of vagabonds who had conducted quite the caper of creating corn and corn alone day and making away with, with quite a bit of, uh, of coin and, uh, and food that the, uh, and that the authority, the authorities of the nearby clearing would be, uh, very interested. Uh, you were turned over to the town guard and, uh, the town guard, uh, ignored the caper and ignored the corn and corn alone day and just presumed that as vagabonds, as these travelers, that you must be Woodlands, uh, members of the Woodland Alliance and uh, immediately arrested you. You were added to uh, a chain gang. And uh, while you were with your prisoners, um, you had seen in the, the other cell, the uh, fox girl that you had, that had uh, stumbled into your camp. And, uh, you heard mutterings. Many of these people were so confused. They had no idea wh why they were being accused of being members of the rebels. Mm -hmm. Uh, you get the sense that most of them were probably just peasants, uh, that just weren't able to defend themselves and, uh, didn't have any, uh, any way to get out of this situation. And, um, you were then told that, uh, you would be offered a last meal that you'd be dining with the Viceroy herself uh, and there would be a grand public uh, execution for those that would not talk and give up secrets of the Woodland Alliance. Um, and that the uh, that there would be carnival games, that there would be food stands at the public execution, that it was going to be quite the event. Uh, and that if you did not want to be executed, that you would be, uh, you would spill the beans. It's at this point that you were then... Uh, all dressed for dinner in very uh, gaudy clothing and brought together in a chain gang that wrapped around the entire table and into a grand hall with all sorts of art from some centuries old from the old uh, Erie dynasty that had ruled in this palace well before the uh, Marquisat had taken over. And... Um, as you sit chained, the Viceroy uh, had uh, eagerly awaited the meal from uh, the uh, she. The butler had come in and whispered who had, had been replacing the previous crew to, to cook dinner. And it was uh, the uh, the renowned chef, uh, Nestor Zappa from How About Dinner? <laughs> <laughs> How about lunch and also dinner? Bitsy's the only one that knows that. <laughs> How about dinner, but also breakfast? Did somebody so, say did tea? Did somebody did say tea? Did someone say tea <laughs> and lunch? Well, actually, I might yeah. have it written. Yeah, it's, it's, it's something. <laughs> Bitsy was the only one last time who knew it. <laughs> Probably, and I had no fucking yeah. idea. No, I, I tried to write it down, but I was like, yeah. eh, Derek's got it. <laughs> yeah, no, I just have Jawbone of St. Fultonheimer right yeah, Nice. <laughs> He'll probably comment if he just said LOL. He's got, he's got yeah, Derek, we need you. We need the you. Restaurant, Derek. The name of the restaurant. Lunch. How about dinner? Did somebody say dessert? I really... What about tea? <laughs> Some bullshit like that. <laughs> Somebody say tea. Close enough. Close enough, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> uh, and you then see uh, the doors open. And it's at this point, Booker and Grumley, you uh, enter the Grand Hall and see the scene ahead of you. These prisoners all in a chain gang. Um, the Viceroy in her uh, elaborate outfit uh, at the head with uh, a very large open uh, space on the table for her various portions of the feast. And it's at this point that you look around and you realize that uh, Bitsy's gotten distracted and has made her way back into the kitchen. That doesn't seem like Bitsy. <laughs> what does Bitsy say in this moment? Uh. Oh, I, I, I think I heard one of those tarantulas back there telling me the secrets of the universe. <laughs> I'm gonna go commune with it. No, and where you going? No, <laughs> go back there. Oh. Fuck. Book a missed one. There's <laughs> a lot of them. Those fuckers can jump. <laughs> Everywhere. Uh, oh, and Bitsy is gone into the kitchen. 
And then uh, Nestor, who has not been uh, informed of this plan. That's exactly what Pixie says. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that uh, Nestor has not been informed of the plan and uh, he is, his eyes are, are filling with tears. He still has the red headband from the 80s montage that you all did. Uh, and he, he looks at this, this is the greatest moment of my life. And I, I realize I've forgotten how to play it. Uh, 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 you, you, you're my team. Can you help me out here? And so he turns to you, and you basically have free reign to do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. So, so I would say we we are carrying out the plates at this point. Mm -hmm. Um, I would I would say for sure we we were very careful about how we lined up the dishes and which ones we drugged. And definitely not trusting Bitsy, and only half trusting Grumbly. Uh, <laughs> I would take the, at least one or two. Again, we, we had some unnamed number of them because I didn't mm -hmm. know how many other people we might need to drug. Yeah, outside of the Viceroy. Uh, but I'm gonna make sure that the Viceroy gets the drugged food. Okay, at the very least. Well, outside of that, I don't give a shit. She gets five portions, right? Yeah, yeah some five, crazy number five of portions of, of drugged food. So I'm and definitely... I literally just wait there, a little scared booker. I'm like, my eyes would just be a little off. <laughs> <laughs> just like, wait to be told what to do. Uh, Grumly, just uh, grab some of the plates and start giving them to our lovely guests. Wait, wait, which and, one? Oh, no, any of them. Just start going right around the corner. I'll take care of the Viceroy. Well, they have to, you know, Ungstray or whatever. No, no, I'll take care of that, Grumley. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Leave the rest to me. Oh, so D D's are fine? I've got everything. It's oh, all right. All right. Oh, okay. The Viceroy has to eat first. She's the most important. And I'm going to be, like, <laughs> handing out the drug to uh, her. And, the like, plump uh, bunny will look at you and she's like, I'm starving! <laughs> This looks delicious! Uh, oh, that's, yes, well, it, you have the most famous chef in all of the Dimwood here who, who prepared this meal for you, and so it, it's going to be nothing but delicious. I hope so. If not, I'll have your heads! Uh, oh, well, thank you, ro your, your, your highness, royalty. Make a deception <laughs> check. Oh shit! <laughs> I might be Viceroy Matilda. What? I think I might be Viceroy yeah. Matilda. Uh, That'll be delicious, Andy. What else? What's going on here? Sorry, I apologize. Got to get my skill up. Deception starts yep. with a D. Oh, I'd have to get a one to fuck this up. The D is for deception. I got a nineteen, so that's going to be a thirty. Okay. Wow. She. <laughs> 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 uh, she says, this looks delicious! <laughs> As she uh, turns to both of you. As you're the closest uh, prisoners on either side, as you see Booker walk up, uh, and how would you react to Booker uh, showing up in a chef's outfit? I'm like trying not to make eye contact with him. <laughs> ah. Hi! It's Booker! <laughs> uh, Booker! <laughs> what are you talking about? It's it's Booker right there. Who? See him? You got a booger in your nose? B booker! <laughs> I'll get it for you if you want. No, I'm saving that. <laughs> Shut your mouth! You're gonna get him in trouble. Well, uh, I'm here you too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, you don't know who I am. You have a grumbly I'm in your punchy. tumbly. Actually, I'm kind of I have a grumbly in my tumblies hey, too! Ooh, we should eat! Uh, yeah, oh, what? You don't get to eat until I say you eat! That's fair, I guess. Go, please! You first. I'm hungry. Her eyes widen almost maddeningly as she looks at both of you and she says, Because I am such a generous captor! I have provided you the most delicious last meal you will ever enjoy! It does smell good. As thanks, I expect all of the information on the Woodland Alliance that you have and you might be spared! Yeah, okay, so the biggest thing is that most of the high-end members of the Woodland Alliance are actually your gods and the people in your rompoy. That's how they were able to get so many people in here. 
The majority of these people know nothing because they're not going to capture all of us. That would be silly. I'm a high-end ranking member, so you should probably kill me first. Unfortunately, that's just the way it goes. But most of these people are really stupid and they have nothing to do with it. So you should probably go through all of your gods and question them because I would say probably like 70 to 80% of them are actually your enemies. <laughs> Make a perception check. I mean a persuasion check. <laughs> oh, I don't even have dice out. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. That's pretty good. It's damn good. Let's keep it. I mean, I, I have dice. You said uh, persuasion. Persuasion. Uh, sixteen. Sixteen. Um, let me roll real quick. She, she, her eyes widen, and she looks at you. Wow! Really? <laughs> Yeah, you know, it It was, quite honestly, was the easiest way we figured we could do it, because then we take out a bunch of our enemies right under your nose, and you wouldn't know anything at all, you know? So if we just infiltrated your court and filled it up with the Woodland Alliance, then we could get rid of everyone who sided with you, and then you would be the easiest thing to take out at the end. Well. Is that true? There needs to be a, a trial, and do you have... Evidence? Evi- <laughs> Evidence? What is the word I'm looking for, Clank? <laughs> and you hear a <laughs> 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 oh, <God. laughs> as the massive sheet man enters the room and he says, Evidence. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, evidence! <laughs> Do we need evidence? And Clunk looks at her and he says, <laughs> Splendid! <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, and, and all the guards are looking around at each other very nervously. God. Uh, and uh, she turns to you and says, uh, Will you point out which ones are the traitorous rebels? <laughs> it's going to be really hard for me to point them all out when they're wearing clothes. <laughs> 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 Make a deception check. Five. Uh, almost. So I close. rolled a three and then a five. So or close. Four. Nearly there. <laughs> Missed it by that much. She leans in and says, That's ridiculous! <laughs> they dress very well to be in my presence! Do you know how much it costs the taxpayers? <laughs> Yeah, but you know, the thing is, how can I- I don't, I don't really care. It's the taxpayer's money, not mine. <laughs> but see, the thing is, you know, how am I supposed to tell whether, you know, Godsman Sean over there is actually Woodland Alliance Adam when he's wearing a helmet? I can't see his face. Are you saying that there's special tattoos or something? <laughs> that would give everything away. You think we're stupid enough to do that? We got to be the evidence. evidence. <laughs> she thinks for a moment. Oh, it, 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 all of this yelling sure is hungry work, isn't it? Why don't you eat five portions of supper before you do that? <laughs> and perhaps maybe your enormous scary goatman god would like to eat some food too. Uh, Clunk, do you do executioning on a full stomach? <laughs> He, he steps forward a little bit and says, I prefer to kill fast. And... Um, no, it's, it, it's really good. I mean, tell him how good it is. It's, I mean, it's, it's <laughs> the, the, I, I mean, in all reality, this is some of the greatest food I've ever tasted in my entire life. Oh, you he, have to try it. It's, it's been everywhere. It to, does look really good. To every clearing. Yeah, Nestor knows his way around the kitchen, that's for sure. Nobody like Nestor. Oh, yes, no, I've wandered into many strange kitchens after being in the bar. 
I've been thrown out by many. I mean, I'm a graduate from Gordon Ramsay's, Ramsay's <laughs> prestigious. I promise you, you'll never see another, you'll never try another meal like this ever again. Make a persuasion check. An advantage, because Grumbly's helping you. You can't. Yeah, you can. I got a uh, 29. Uh, Twisted Dread. <laughs> <laughs> so do I just re-roll that one? Yes. You'll you have to take the yeah. low you'll take the lowest regardless. That's not push dread work. <laughs> Natural to me. Okay, yeah. So do I just take the this is No, one, no, no. You take I the just, you take I just the, take yeah. the new yeah. the new yeah. roll. Yeah. Um I got a 31. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Michael. <laughs> Doesn't get better than that, for me. And and it, it this is my famous Dutch sauce. See all see the sauce on literally every course. <laughs> That's Dutch sauce. When you put it like that, <laughs> bottoms up. <laughs> oh, it's even in the trifle. <laughs> Um, if, if, if that means that the goat, the goat clunk, yeah. clunk is, is looking to have a plate. Clunk, I order you to not kill Vastin. <laughs> we have seen N- Nestor from the restaurant that they said, you must not be rude to our chef. He is basically an executioner like you. Uh, here, I, let, let, allow me, please. And I go down to the end of the table where one of the most pathetic peasant looking starving people sitting there and I lean yeah. over and I go I'm so sorry and I take the dish from him <laughs> and as I'm walking <laughs> and as I'm walking to clunk I would like to I'm as, so hungry. As, as stealthily as possible take the rest of the drugs that Bitsy had us like I and just slip them under all the food. I mean, this is so much drugs <laughs> that I'm putting in this one plate because this guy is like 1,200 pounds. And so we sprinkled it amongst the Vice Boy's food. I am using the rest of it. It's basically like a giant crack rock of drugs like underneath the, the, the mash yeah. uh, next to the banners. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I will try to stealthily stick that in there. Yeah. As so, I mean, it's light of hand check. And so you actually pull out, like literally, it looks like uh, uh, it's it's, it's like a full crack rock, but uh, in an edible um, food grade paint, you see Big Clucker. <laughs> <laughs> and he says, it says, nobody does drugs like Big Clucker. Um, all right. Uh, and, and the key to this one, the key to this one is called deconstructed bangers and mash. But the key is actually just to eat it all in one go. And it, it just constructs as you eat it. Another natural 20. Gotta give it a 27 <laughs> total for sleight of hand. Booker's on fire tonight. Uh, you are able to do that very quickly, and as you approach him, his eyes narrow, and ah. he says, Don't I know you? What? Me? No, no, we've never met before in our lives. Make a deception check at disadvantage. There's certainly nobody in the dim one that has... I mean, there are tons of people in the Dimwood that have the exact same accent as I do. <laughs> I'm certainly not a unique raccoon or anything. You said disadvantage? Uh-oh. Deception? Yeah. 17. Fuck. Really oh, good. no, insight. I got to roll insight. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using a twisted dread. <laughs> Son of a gun. So I will keep the six. No, no, roll the high. Oh, oh, you're going to just... You're gonna, okay, okay, okay. okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it. 17. I went from a two to oh. a seven. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Never seen me before in your life, friend. And he looks at you and, uh, I mean, <coughs> the vice uh, says, Clunk, what did I tell you about? <laughs> you sit down and stop being offensive. <laughs> and uh, with that, he he uh, he yelps a little bit, and he's very clearly like actually afraid of the viceroy. Me too. And he sits down and he takes the plate. And uh, she then extends her arms and uh, says, I will reiterate my generous offer. You will have the greatest meal of your life. And if you give up all of your allies, all of your friends and family to be hanged at the carnival this evening, this will not be your last supper or you will die pleasant. 
Deadly at the very least. Well. I really feel that I, my tongue gets loose once I've had a bite to eat. <laughs> oh, good point. Secrets are best spilled over dessert. Dig in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brumley, just stand back and watch the mayhem. I'm sitting at the table with my fork. Like. Yeah. And you see, as the um, you had taken, uh, there's a very emaciated, uh, <laughs> a tiny roll. As oh, and as you like, uh, he's like, oh, no, uh, when his chains are rattling. <laughs> Can I go into the kitchen and like pick up a tarantula and just like kind of eat it on the counter and bring it out to him? But he's like, no, I was just, <laughs> I was just going to learn how to get to the seventeenth level. I only had to pay three years' salary. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I just the, totally ignore Bitsy. It's Bitsy's like opportunity to, to I'll find someone else to start a cult with. <laughs> as <laughs> as uh, you do that, and you just drop a smash tarantula, and uh, the vole devour starts to devour it. It's the best I could do. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's only as uh, Ness is like, oh, I can't wait to get the reaction. I'm going to look, and I can't wait for you to tell me how you love it. As you see uh, the uh, uh, Viceroy Brunt, uh, Buntilda uh, starts uh, shoveling food into her face, and she uh, takes a handful of bites for a couple seconds. She, she, her eyes go wide. This is just a... <laughs> 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 as... Uh, as uh, <laughs> as Kalong turns and he looks and he's like, oh, oh drug rock. <laughs> uh, as, yes, I didn't as, think that was gonna work. I need to roll a uh, constant saving throw for them now. Oh, <laughs> okay. The overdose. <laughs> well, then we can get our money back. It serves them right for charging us taxes. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Remember the lesson of the day, kids. If you charge people taxes, you deserve to be poisoned to death. <laughs> <laughs> FBI then rolls up. Uh, the and so was it just Kong and uh, the Viceroy that you were poisoning, right? Uh, assuming that they're the only Marquisat people that are actually eating. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, guards, we're, right? If it, I assume if there are guards there, we'll just have to slay them. That's unfortunate <laughs> for them. Bad, wrong place, wrong time, friends. Um, no, but we were definitely gonna try to avoid poisoning any of the woodland lions. Uh, that happens. And so both uh, Clonk and Viceroy Buntilda just completely collapse, uh, foam uh, uh, emerging from their mouths as the guards uh, all snap to attention and they all turn to the, uh, to Nestor. Like, oh, this was all me. I did all of the work. I, I played in everything and got, did my famous duck sauce on all of the dishes. There was no particular reason to do it on every course except for the fact that it was so delicious. <laughs> and the guards nah. immediately uh, raise their weapons and say, And I'm going to call Stop out. you! You know, if I were you, I'd get out of here right now because uh, she now thinks that at least 80, 70 to 80 percent of you are uh, with the Woodland Alliance and she needs no evidence. She's going to wake up eventually if you're still here. Those uh, those numbers aren't looking so good for you, fellas. Make a persuasion check. <clears throat> going to use your dice. It's a four. Uh, first place they look at you and they hesitate and they uh, pull out and as, as they look and they seem to they they, 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 they they seem to be very clearly thinking about it as after seeing that the Viceroy had um, had very clearly been very willing to execute all of them uh, as they stop and they turn to you and say well, if we can prove it was this guy, we'll put it all on him. And it's like, oh, wait, no, what did I do? Did I do too much booze? Was it too much bourbon? As the guards start to uh, start uh, surrounding uh, 
while they're going after Nesta, look for the goat man's key ring. See if we can get these uh, the ladies out of here, and then also maybe get our gold back. I don't have the keys. Served yet? Wait, you can take it to go. We have to get out of here. Quick, finally go. Uh, all right. Um, and I'm going to run over to to Clunk's uh, person, and I want to just look through the investigation check. Oh god. I'm like trying to, to see if my my hands, my bound hands, can reach the viceroy's plate. For just no, 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 okay, yeah, no, do that, do that. <laughs> Dexterity card is between you two. <laughs> Reaching as hard as I can. Uh, Are you trying to stop her? Oh, uh, I was just telling her if I'm close enough. Yeah, I would, yeah. I would definitely try to slap the fork out of her hand. Yeah, just Dexterity. Nineteen, yeah. sixteen. Oh, you beat me, I think. Welcome, Huntress Clarice. Welcome Just straight up Dex is... Hello, Huntress Clarice. <laughs> I'm very good. I got 12, so I'm not able to stop her from uh, doing what she wants to do. <laughs> Making Kelsey's a saving throw. <laughs> uh, 21. You immediately lose consciousness <laughs> as you right. as you get a morsel <laughs> and you take 14 points of poison damage <laughs> as Bitsy did not realize the sheer extent of what she had done as you see Hazel uh, slump forward into the deconstructed uh, bangers and mash. Son of a gun, there was food right on her own plate. She had to go for the Viceroy. It's unbelievable. Brumley, have you found the keys? Uh, I'm looking. I rolled a 19. Uh, to look for the keys. Oh, yeah, you find it very quickly. <laughs> uh, I want to look. I want to keep an eye on Nestor and, like, what's happening. Uh, <laughs> Poor Nestor. <laughs> He's he's holding up his hands like, oh no, I just I just was trying to live my dream as the real chef for the Viceroy. I didn't mean to, to use too much uh, salt. Maybe, maybe it was a hard condition. I'm sorry. I just like my food salty. Um, as they are uh, as they are closing in on him, uh, I will. Hey, book a tight days, and I'll throw him the keys. Why, why, why? What are you doing? No, we, we have to get out of here. We, we can't stick around here. What are you no, doing? You're going to free the prisoners, and I'm going to save Nesta. No, no, no. Nesta's what we call a patsy. He's a fall guy. We don't need him anymore. <laughs> no fall guy gets left behind. Oh, sweet gods above. <laughs> I just want to start bum rushing for Nesta. Okay. Okay, make a... Uh... I would say that they're approaching him and starting to surround him. We'll say we're going to do roll an athletics or acrobatics contest, and it's going to be a group roll for the guards. And it's going to be a disadvantage that because you see that there's actually there's one leader that is very much unswayed, but a lot of them had are after hearing what Peggy had to say, uh, they're like, oh, she, she, she almost just tried to hang us <laughs> well, <that's> <laughs> <true>. <laughs> with, with no with no fair trial. <laughs> this is pretty. The taxes are high. We don't have right to a fair trial. What is this place? Uh, and Hell. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a natural too. What do you get? Twenty six. Nice. Yeah. You manage to uh, after you throw the keys uh, to Booker. You manage to uh, uh, just uh, hunker down and dash. And you've never seen a pug move this fast. <laughs> it's like a bowling ball. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you actually, it's like the lion scene of, of Timon and Pumbaa and the Lion King, and you actually are knocking guards out of the way as uh, as Nestor doesn't even have any time to react as you uh, basically tackle him. Oh, what's happening? Oh, my goodness. I get up and I say, now that's what I call duck pin bowling. <laughs> <laughs> and I turn around at all the guards. Jesus Christ. I turn around at the guards. And I say, don't make me use my chef's halberd. <laughs> <laughs> Stand down. Uh, I will begin trying to unlock all of the manacles from all of the Woodland Alliance. I would say, so as that's happening, you are able to easily unlock it. And you see that on uh, Clunk's person are all of Peggy's effects. Uh, as <laughs> you see like, a bunch of horrible uh, glowing vials and horrible <laughs> experiments and contraptions. <laughs> <laughs> as uh, they all spill out and you're able to free your companions. Done. And I, I leave Hazel just sitting in the chair for now until we're ready to move. 
Uh, you see um, that that in the foam at uh, Clunk's mouth, there's some blood in there. Oh, oh no. This is awful. <laughs> Bitsy's a murderer. <laughs> I can't believe she's done this. I also would like to check Clunk to see if he has any of our gold that he stole from us. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> make uh, uh, make an investigation check. <laughs> Used all my good rolls. Uh, ooh, 12, uh, 13, 11. 11. You find uh, a small pouch of gold on him. I take it looks it. like his personal gold uh, yeah, I uh, take collection. It. And, I, and, I, and as I hold the gold up, I say, there's a lesson here, clunk. Taxes are bad, and I uh, <laughs> and I pocket the uh, I pocket the gold coin purse. You see his uh, eyes like, kind of like get cross-eyed, <laughs> and like some blood starts to pour Jesus. out. Jesus, you brought this on yourself, friend. And uh, I will turn to uh, the gang. All right, what do we do now? We gotta get out of here. And I'm I'm like I'm like telling the peasants basically to just fucking run and like just get out and and you know. Well, we can move together as a unit. Somebody's got to carry Hazel. As uh, <laughs> I'm literally I'm surrounded by bad. guards. Yeah, yes, <laughs> grumbly surrounded by guards. As uh, <sighs> as uh, they uh, this, this this lead one. As the other ones are kind of looking uh, at each other. This this lead guard who is very he's dressed the uh, most elegantly. You can tell that uh, he's a cat and he's very oh um, very loyal. What? <laughs> I'm a cat. Really? That's pretty good. He uh, he says, "You are an accomplice. You will be brought in and tried and hanged at the festivities this evening as well." We're not accomplices. I'm just a sous chef, an opportunity my head chef. So I suggest you step down. I'm a real head chef. How close am I to this person? Uh, I would say you as close as you want to be. It's really from 30 120 feet. feet. Yes. Oh yeah. The room is big. It's not that big. I am going to. I, I give me a second. I'm thinking about how I magic this. <laughs> oh, I've got my stuff back. What would I have in my pack to make him very, very frightened? <laughs> <laughs> you look like a really cheap Halloween mask. You're perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna reach into my bag and pull out what clearly looks like a plastic were a thing in this place, like one of those super flimsy clown masks. And yeah. so I'm gonna put it on my face. I'm gonna look to this man, I'm gonna go. No one no one's gonna get hanged here today, friend, but maybe you will. Look around you. You see nothing but foes. You're the only one that's got enemies here. We're all friends. And I'm going to cast enemies abound <laughs> on this person. Okay. He needs to make an intelligent saving throw, DC 16. <laughs> Fucking fails. 14. <laughs> uh, yes, he loses the ability to distinguish friend from foe, regarding all creatures it can see as enemies until the spell ends. He turns, and as he sees the very cheap... <laughs> Very cheap clown mask. It's like ill-fitting. Yeah. You have a- no, you have no chance against the magics I've created for myself. His eyes go wide, and he says, "I don't want to go to the circus, Father. <laughs> spooky clowns scare me. Ah, ah, spooky clowns!" And he turns as he has a horrible flashback. And uh, he takes his sword and runs it through uh, one of the guards. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! And blood ah! splatters everywhere. Wow, the hell? And, uh, and you see as one of the younger guards, okay, I've seen enough, I'm not gonna be killed by a corrupt politician, and they all just start Caesaring him. This is so oh, much I worse than the poisoning! Get out of the circus! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want the spooky clowns. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, while this, this is, so is happening, violent. I'm gonna go over to uh, Hazel and I'm gonna this grab her by her lapels and you're gonna be like, "Wake up, wake up, Hazel, we gotta go, wake up!" <laughs> and I'm shaking her violently. Oh uh, no, <laughs> no, the bubble berry. Uh, I would say <laughs> that you make a constitution. I will say a little trigger a constitution saving throw. 
16. Hey. 16, that's enough. The DC was 15. As you are oh. very sick, oh. your tummy hurts. Oh. You're a little drunk from the duck sauce. <laughs> and uh, and uh, you, but you are, are conscious and you're able to move. Okay. I wasn't very good at all. You ate off the wrong plate. We served you, you your food specifically. Why did you eat the Viceroy's food? I was just so hungry, and I honestly, I didn't see my plate. It was right here! Get up! Get up! Look around! Uh, look at what the nine houses happening! And there's blood and sores and, and like, and dead I'm, people. I'm standing there with this mask askew on my face covered in blood. What the fuck? Ah, and it's like, what is that? <laughs> Uh, All right, next year, let's get the fuck out of here. It's like it's like the scene from Saving Private Ryan, but it's from Hazel's perspective. It's like going in and out. It's fuzzy, and there's like a clown Peggy standing over. Her. And like, like, there's one guy walking around with no arm. Like, ah! and the story is like bleeding it's out actually of that, eyes. Actually, that does happen. As uh, you see that there is. Then there's a large carving knife as uh, you see that there's a mouse uh, uh, that despite his uh, small size is actually incredibly muscular uh, as he uh, looks forward and lunges for the carving knife and says, FREEDOM! <laughs> and he lunges for the Viceroy and just cuts her throat. <laughs> As he says, come on yourselves, brothers! And he starts throwing out knives and they turn on the guards as a couple of, of, of prisoners who are actually um who are actually Woodland Alliance uh starts uh they start stabbing the guards and one uh goes into the kitchen as Bitsy is like, oh no, this is oh god, there's a fire, it's hot in here! It's hot! Oh God! As, as she runs out and do the, a, there's a massive uh, eruption of flame from the kitchen as the whole room starts to catch fire. This is the worst dinner I've ever been to. We have to get up. We have to move. All right, you fucking drunk. Come on. Oh, hey, Nestor. I'm pulling Nestor out with us. We gotta go. I'd be, I would, I would I'm be dragging, out of here. I'd be dragging Hazel and saying, Peggy, come on. We have to find a way out. I'm just standing over them, breathing heavily. <laughs> It's Freedom! Death to tyrants! <laughs> the fire is it's getting hot in here, so Peggy takes off all her clothes. Oh, God. Um, no, I'm kidding. I just look at what's coming. Is there another... Uh, I would look for some sort of, like, staircase that, like, that's away from the kitchen, but not necessarily, like, the main d door to this room. Yeah, so you do see that there's a large door uh, as... Um, and there's absolute chaos erupting and um you uh and through the crowd a uh someone approaches you as you see the fox girl approach you and she says i knew you weren't with them i knew you were one of us as uh she uh as she uh pulls out uh one of these uh steak knives and like hands them to you it's like join us uh, what? What? One of you? Uh, let's not get hasty here. I mean, we're here to save you, but we're gonna get out of here. This is going to be a beacon that will d d burn the entire Dimwood. What? Whoa! Whoa! In whoa! the fires of freedom. Uh, but hold on a second. Dimwood. Yeah, we're not burning anything. I mean, I, I did say I wanted to burn this clearing down because of the taxes. And they yeah, you will. Of yes. What? We gotta find a way out of here. I don't know if we want to get mixed up in this. I think that's really more of a figure of speech. Burning it all down. No, we will burn it all to the ground! Oh dear! Run freedom from the dim wood! Why don't you all just leave? Can you just leave? As uh, you see, as all of the guards are massacred at this point. Oh wow! Uh, and um, the uh, the whole palace is starting to burn. There's absolute chaos all around you. As uh, the members of the uh, there are very clearly completely innocent peasants who are looking around and they're absolutely terrified and like looking at you like, what do we do? Oh. <laughs> uh, I would tell this fox girl before we we make any moves. Listen, if for some reason that we get separated and we don't see you again, there's a small area south of this clearing and I would tell her how to get yeah. to Benji and Koziah. You're gonna find a, a, a very large bear and, and, and a really kind of a very rude bird, but they wanna join the Woodland Alliance. They can help you. You can find them and lead them to wherever you wanna take them. Uh, just in case we don't stay together. I mean, we can't really stay in this clearing anymore. No, no, we have, we have to get the peasants out. Look how very confused and scared they are. Come.
come quickly! Uh, and I'll try to find an exit. If you find a trail of Bumbleberry, don't follow it. And well, she looks. Follow it for a little while, but not as long as you'd like to. And uh, <laughs> and she looks at you and says, "Thank you. My name is my name is Ginger. Come to Sticker Brush." And and she turns to the mouse and says, "Sean." We have a weapon of war! <laughs> yes, a bear! <laughs> <laughs> and then he kicks open the door, it flies open, and there's guards that are start rushing in, and the members of the Woodland Alliance start fighting them and clashing them, very much leaving an opening for you as, the, as you're able to lead the actual peasants through the palace. All right, yes, that sounds great. We'll see you in Sticker Brush. There's no way in hell we're going to Sticker Brush. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> I, I'm Dragon Nester. As he and looks, I'm, I'm walking slowly, covered in blood, <laughs> yeah. wearing a mask, <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. That's all. As, I occasionally hop. As Nestor <laughs> says, like, well, th- this dream of mine turned out to be a nightmare. <laughs> as he looks, there's fire, there's blood. He's being carried by Grumley out. <laughs> as he looks at my grandpa, see him throw her over my other shoulder. Yeah. As uh, and she turns to Nestor, says, well, how? <laughs> oh hey, it's the creator! <laughs> I knew that you would save us! <laughs> I always knew the creator was gonna be intelligent enough to graduate Cal Clown College! <laughs> It's like Derek never left. It's really. <laughs> uh, as uh, as the Woodland Alliance uh, uh, fights their way through the palace, creating enough of a distraction where you hear that there had been guards going down through these hallways, but the actual sound of of violence and shouting voices and 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 death to the Marquisade and death to the Marquise, uh, you know, freedom for the Dimwood uh, starts to uh, draw all of the attention. Um, as so there are, there's like another hallway that's... <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hold on. So Huntress Clarice says, my DM is having us do an evil campaign. <laughs> my first ever campaign. So I'm learning a lot of things. <laughs> We're the good guys. We still have <laughs> The taxes made me do it. It wasn't supposed to be this way. It wasn't supposed to be this way. We're the good guys. <laughs> as Nestor looks at Bitsy as she says that, a tarantula crawls out from under uh, her her chef hat and skitters on top of Booker. And um, and uh, he looks around and he looks at Peggy. He's like, and the clown. <laughs> And he reaches into his coat and he pulls, unscrews the last <laughs> remaining airplane bottle of booze and he just downs the whole thing. Well, man, that moment of clarity for Nestor is gone. He's hopeless. We should throw him in the fire. <gasps> I'm kidding. We have to get out of here, please. Where uh, are we going to go? I mean, we can't stay in this clearing. I, I mean, I'd really like to get the gold that we earned and I'd like to take it with us. I mean, we have all of these keys. We should be able to fetch the gold and then we can get out of here. We can go to any clearing we want. Where's the gold? What? What? Where's the gold? We were robbed. We didn't get the money that we got for slaying the the bear, all right? That's terrible. That's what I'm saying, because they're all evil, crooked crooks. Well, we got some of it. Yes, but I'll fill you in on the way. I have a question, though. Like, did you kill the bear? Well, no, but we were... Well, then why should you get money for killing a bear if you didn't actually do it? Because he didn't deserve to die. He was a good person. He was a nice... Bear. I thought he was pretty scary. Right, but they were paying you for killing a bear. So if you didn't kill well, a bear, why they sh- why should they give you money? We saved a life and we stole from these crooked crooks. It's all a win-win for me. Um, so where's the gold? We're going to go find it if there's time. Okay. I'm not going to put these keys to no use. We're going to put them to good use. I think we should get next to like into a, the inn or something. That's fine. We'll, we'll deal with it on the way. Let's just get out of here. All right, lead the way. Maybe we're just trying to find the fastest way out of this building. I'm following Grumbly, looking up at Mister. Did you make a dessert course? <laughs> no. No. Oh, my dream is a nightmare filled with bloodshed and clowns. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, somehow I always knew it was gonna end this way. <laughs> I don't know how I was so oddly specific in guess that a clown was gonna be involved. <laughs> but just somehow I always knew. <laughs> and you know, I didn't think that my dream was gonna be so political. I just wanted to save I just wanted to make Doug Thor. 
Can't always get what we want, Nestor. <laughs> Chef Ramsey would be so disappointed. Oh, to be fair, Nestor, he always is. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm shocked I graduated. I'm sure you bump- Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure your bumbleberry trifle was good. We'll never know it's currently incinerated. <laughs> it was bumblebear. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. Oh, it's terrible. Oh. <laughs> I like break every window. As yeah, yeah, you're like, breaking the window. Yeah, like, I look outside. Not too high. <laughs> too high. Yeah. Break the next window. And you're going down, and there's very clear, like a spiral. Uh, there's there's all sorts of um, staircases and and ladders. This is built into a tree. This is a uh, a captured eerie palace um, that was the prize of the the Marquisat. And um, it's kind of like a dead tree already. Oh yeah, it's a dead tree. Okay. Um, so it's it's a very ancient so tree. Kindling, yeah, basically, We're in a basically, giant yeah. <laughs> okay. As, <laughs> as you hear the screams of pain and the shouts of of freedom, as uh, you make your way through, the fire roars behind you. You break every window. There's there's priceless art all around you. Um, that's be going up completely in flames. As uh, you make your way through and through the chaos, you're able to lead um, these terrified uh, uh, denizens who just like got mixed up and uh, for for no reason, you managed to save all of them. As uh, about half of them seem to actually be with the Woodland Alliance, half did not. Um, as uh, you make your way out into the clearing, as the alarm bells are ringing, as the the town guard is mobilizing, and you see this uh, large um, uh, a large crowd gathering, as you see that mouse, the very muscular mouse that had been uh, called Jean. Uh, uh, <laughs> you say he's a mighty mouse. He's a very mighty mouse. Yeah, exactly right. As uh, he stands atop the gallows, as he uh, takes, um, he's now found a uh, uh, a saber of some kind. And he's slicing all of the ropes, and uh, and they start to torch it. As um, he says, people. Denizens of the Dimwood, denizens of Click Clock Crossing, we have brought an end to the t- uh, the tyranny of Viceroy Gluntilda. Join us. Join the alliance of all of the woodland critters. Join us in our fight for freedom. We now have a weapon of war. And you start to see that townsfolk are looking around and dozens of townsfolk leave the crowd. They were, they have like churros and like <laughs> <laughs> they have churros. This mouse and, looks like this. <laughs> yeah, no, he literally looks, he looks like, like one of Tengen and Zooey's mice. Yeah. <laughs> You've seen it. It's, oh, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, he looks like one of these mice. I don't know if you can see it. It's probably not going to focus. I can post it in the Discord. You have to cover my face. They're, uh... Just put it here. Yeah. <laughs> There's this very muscular, uh, very flashy mice. Oh, uh, well, it's not working. Flying. <laughs> okay. Well, well you guys will just have to use your imagination. You guys will just have to use your imagination. We'll post it in Discord. Um, as more and more people start to uh, join the crowd, as a large crowd, as the guards all start to rush in, as the the, the, the bells are clanging, uh, many people, um, many denizens, many rabbits of this clearing. Uh, who had very clearly uh, decided to join the Marquisat uh, in the tabard, and perhaps because that they uh, needed a job, they needed uh, money to bring home for the family. Uh, they look at the massive crowd, the growing crowd uh, of these members of the Woodland Alliance, and they're just like, this isn't worth it. And they're dropping their swords and just backing up. Jesus. And uh, the massive swarm of uh, the crowd uh, starts uh, flooding out of the city in the direction of uh, Kaziah and Benji as uh, you see them leave the main town as the uh, the large clock tower gongs um, as chaos is is in the city. Uh, I, uh, you know, I think your plan of getting Nestor back to the end at the very least is, is a good one to start and then we have to figure out where we're going. I mean, I almost feel like we should just have have them take him with them. I mean, what's he going to do? He was, you know, witness to be a part of it. I mean, I guess there are only witnesses left. Um, uh, oh, boy. Well, that's a good point. I don't know. I, I feel like, yeah, I don't feel like anybody involved should really stay here. <laughs> I, I just, I don't know. Is he going to go with him? Is he going to be all right with that? Are they going to take a drunk? Clearly, he's, you know, fall right off the wagon. 
What do you think that, Stu? <laughs> You're drunk. <laughs> You're too drunk. Oh! My dream. Oh, woe is Nestor. My life, how silly it was to think that a duck like me could ever get his groove back. All right, Nestor, I'm going to need you to focus, all right? Dreams are over. The dimwood is on fire. I need you to focus here and make a decision. Oh, to make a decision. Such a monumental decision. Well, it's one that if you don't make the right choice, too, you're probably going to die. I don't think that's helping him. But it's the reality of the situation. He's going to wake up here. Why don't you just tell him what to do? I don't think he'll fight. <laughs> Why fight? In the end, it's all just... It's all just burning trees, dead butlers, and a scary, spooky clown. <laughs> oh. Nesta, where one dream burns... <clears throat> Another dream can be born from the ashes. I'm going to walk up to Nestor, covered in blood with my clown mask still on. <laughs> I'm going to lean over him. Nestor, <laughs> if you don't get your shit together and stop drinking, I'm going to come to you every night in your sleep. Oh, no. Wait, you sound just like that pair of really strange frogs. <laughs> <laughs> that I met at the tavern with taking off a clothes. <laughs> wow. You're very clearly a, a, a flesh eating monster who eats critters and then ha has mimicry abilities. And the only kind of monsters that I eat are the drunken ones. I like to taste the alcohol in their blood. No. Sober up. Go back to Gordon Ramsay's and get a new degree. I didn't really work out. At Shut all. up. Oh. Make an intimidation check. <laughs> Fourteen. <laughs> Fourteen. That's not. That's not terrible. He looks and he says, "Well." Eh. Even after this, you're right, I don't have a degree. This is fraudulent. Look, you can see big cluck of thumb right here. Master, you watched me make that. <laughs> oh, I did. I'm a fraud. Maybe I should go back to school and get into architecture or something. Well, I think... You know what? I think I'm going to be an accountant. <laughs> well, hold on. I think the monster that ate both Peggy's makes a good point. And Grumley started to make a very good speech that was very reminiscent of something that I might say. But look, if, 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 if this doesn't work out and maybe you still want to cook, it's very possible the Woodland Alliance could use a talent like yours. They need to eat just like everyone else. That's true. Everybody needs to eat. I could eat right now. <laughs> Oh, would you like some of the duck sauce? That it's we really made? not the time for that, Nesta. We still need to have focus. some. Here no, I don't go. think that's a good idea. <laughs> Ooh. Hazel, no! Hey. He clapped on me. Oh, that was the last of my duck sauce. Oh, man. Oh, man. Now what am I going to eat? You can have a new dream of freeing the woodland from <clears throat> the Marquis Art and the Eerie and, you and know, hunger. independence or. Community or whatever they believe in. You oh. know, sort of give you something to live for. We're going to be honest. We really don't care what you do. <laughs> you just got to make a decision quick. I mean, things are literally on fire here. <laughs> you hear the the ringing of the fire uh, squadrons as they're, as they're like a bunch of cats and rabbits with buckets of water. Like, Look, eh. Nesta, I know we've been through a lot, but you are just a minor... <laughs> part of our lives <laughs> and 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 look we, maybe our paths will cross again but i hope they don't and i don't think they will <laughs> oh my, i am a minor part of my own life we're all just specks oh in the grand this guy is depressing green. I, I really thought he was gonna turn around this is this got dark can we see like an actual crowd <laughs> going into the woods oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all running off into the woods. They're all ma right. I'm making an executive decision. Here we go. Let's go. Follow me. And I'm going to keep him over my shoulder. We'll, we'll follow. And I'll I'm going to just try to catch up with this throng yeah. of people going. Yeah, I would say you're able to catch up. And you see many of them are like carrying large pots of honey. They're breaking in and like <gasps> stealing from the uh, the apiaries and, and the, the bakeries. And, <laughs> um <laughs> If For the time, cause! I'd like to join the looting. Yeah. I want to see if I can recognize any of the sort of just meek, normal like people as part a part of this throng. Not necessarily Jean or, or Ginger, but 
Um, you see. Oh, Sean. His name was Sean. Sean. <laughs> Sean too. My like, name is Sean. Yeah, What's like, up? What? <laughs> That's a little weird for Mikey, but. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go with that. Follow Nick Rucker 2012. Oh, hey, Nick And Rucker. they can follow Hunter's Clarice. Oh, thanks. Um, you see the uh, the rabbit, the bunny mother uh, that had um, that had been scared off and called, called Booker a pervert. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and she joins, and she has joined the crowd. I forgot about that. We, that's you, what we missed. And, uh, uh, the recap. and you and you hear uh, the uh, the turtle, the blue shell turtle, that say, ah. Oh, uh, hear, hear ye, hear ye! Uh, absolute chaos and pandemonium in uh, in Click Law Crossing. Oh, in the Viceroy's dead. Viceroy's dead. <laughs> Killed by the hands of the Woodland Alliance. And probably that Ram guy too. Probably that Ram guy. Well, if you can't beat him, join him. Off to Stickerbush for the for this uh, for this town cryo. <laughs> oh, I wonder if they need a cryo of some kind. Uh, I'm gonna turn to the mother. Um, do, do you mind looking after a wayward soul? who really needs some guidance in life and, and really some purpose. And, you know, burning down a whole dim wood is a pretty noble purpose, I guess, depending on who you ask. And to be fair, he's a very, very good cook when he's not drinking. <laughs> and another thing, I'm not a pervert, I'm just a <laughs> raccoon. Mutually <laughs> 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 exclusive. <laughs> Yes, yes, they are. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yes, going on calling people and, perverts. And another thing, I'm not a pervert. I'm just a raccoon. Yeah, that's right. So please, just take Nesta. Get him away from us. Take, take him. He needs people that no, are not he, us. He needs guidance. He needs to be molded. And, and you can teach him the ways of the alliance. Specifically people that are not us. And so I'm going to, like, tie him, uh, uh, take out a rope and tie one end around Nesta's waist and give him the other end of the rabbit mother so if you could just do us a huge favor and lead him into the woods <laughs> where the bear is that would be great uh make a persuasion check just straight uh persuasion not too bad 15 15 okay uh she looks and she glares at uh at booker and uh, looks at uh, <laughs> at Nestor and says, "Oh, I guess I could be a political agent." <laughs> you're, gonna get, you're gonna get assassinated week one immediately. <laughs> I, guess, I guess I could join the revolution. <laughs> May I was gonna be an accountant. I think I'm already dead inside. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, accounts. No wrong point. No wrong point. No wrong point. Yeah. Even if you're dead inside. No wrong point. <laughs> but I guess whatever fate awaits me doesn't really matter, does it? And architects. <laughs> yeah. uh, and uh, she just looks and says, well... I haven't had a, a, a well cooked meal in a long time. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Do you need me to cook? Is my spark for life coming back to me to find purpose? Oh, <coughs> oh no, it was just a cough. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going to vomit. <laughs> As, she tur- as he turns to you and says, well, I guess this is goodbye. I'm going to join the violent revolutionary to commit mass atrocities in the name of their cause. <laughs> um, congratulations. Well, this is the wild, craziest spring break I've ever had. Is it spring? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. I lost a few seasons. <laughs> um, good luck. Don't, you know, in the revolt, don't die. Do. Uh, watch out for cats. Um, watch out for dogs, I hate to say it. Um, oh, there's a dog right there! There's two of them! <laughs> uh, go, uh, go, go away now. <laughs> well said, Bramley. Well said. Let me wave. Goodbye, friends. 
Oh, tell old Bo that I'm sorry for for for, for vomiting so much in his inn. As they're retreating into the woods. <laughs> we won't! Can you repay him for all of the lost business? I think he had grounds for a lawsuit, and I'd rather no. avoid that. No, we can't. Goodbye, mister. I can't afford legal we fees! Please. We can't hear you anymore! And that's the last you ever see us. Thank <laughs> God, that's over. Jesus. Unbelievable. I never thought we were going to get that guy out of our hair. Uh. <sighs> All right, so you want to get this tax money? Yeah, I, I really do. I mean, I feel like we're going to be unimpeded at this point, and the money's ours. We might as well take it. They don't need it anymore. They're dead. All right, let's go. Loot while the looting's good. <laughs> That's exactly right. Lead the way. And then we got to figure out where we're going to go. And I'll I'll go to where I remember seeing this box that he that he had locked up. Yeah, a, some sort of a guard tower or something. It was a tent or something. It was a, it was yeah. like a government building. It was. Um, there isn't really a mayor in this town. The clearing uh, because the the mar- uh, the marquis. Uh, Rather, the viceroy um, was the leader, but there was basically kind of like the town government building. That you and had. that is assuming that as we're approaching this building, it is just complete and utter chaos, and we feel like we can walk in on it. Um, I will say that there is complete and utter chaos, and it seems like the guard presence is uh, has been demi- has been lowered. But it does seem as if there are a handful of guards left. Uh, the the collected taxes being very uh, the 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 the, the mid level bureaucrats uh, <laughs> that are still here are very they're all you can hear them cr- like crowding. It's like oh maybe we get to finally uh, skim a little bit off the top. Oh uh-huh, finally! <laughs> I have to be honest. I wasn't expecting any resistance. I really don't want to have this come to blows over some gold pieces, even if they are rightfully ours. Well, they're rightfully ours. Why don't we take it? I don't feel like... I'm certainly not going to murder anybody for some gold. Well, we could just tell them to leave. You know, be real scary-like. Or convincing. And then if it devolves into a fight, Peggy will turn them into liquid goo. Why don't we just tell them that the fire has spread to the building and they might have got to evacuate? I don't know. I just don't want to do anything that's going to cause us to come to fisticuffs, if you will. Oh, what if we don't have to pretend there's a fire and just have Peggy make a fire? Oh, yeah. Peggy, make it. Well, can, can we scale you, my down? My head slowly turns. I'm still wearing the clown mask. The blood is crusted all over my body. Yeah, maybe we don't need a fire. Maybe she can just pop in and say hello. Look, again, I, it's not worth it. It's not worth uh, causing more mayhem and, and death and destruction over some gold. I mean, we, we, we need to get out of here. That's, that's more important. I can't believe I'm saying it, but... I certainly just don't want to tussle over some gold pieces. It's not worth it. Well, I mean, I'm just thinking it like... It's a lot of hard work. We're kind of broke now. We sort of, you know, spend all our money, thanks Uh, to Nesta. Well, I mean, there's always more clearings and there are always more people to trick. I just don't want to get in a fight over gold. But we've seen enough death today. I could just back it down. Walk walk it back. (laughs) Tone it down. Bump it from like 11 to 4. What's that tail? I don't know if they get mad, just run. Just, uh, oh, oh, okay. I thought maybe instead of, you know, massacring them, you meant maybe a dagger and a kneecap or something. I know, that's still like a high seven. Good to know, we're working on the scale here. All right. Well, I mean, I guess we could put it to a vote. It's usually how we do things around here. Do we want the gold or not? I like gold, yeah, but I also like the Queen's Iberia. Is that in this town? Yes, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like a whole honey vault, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the honey's probably completely unguarded. I mean, they care about the gold, not so much the honey. I saw people leaving the hu- taking all the honey there was. They could be gone by the time we get back there. What? what? I didn't... I didn't... I didn't get to taste the queen's honey! I need to go now! Uh, maybe on our way out, we can see if there's any left. You know, in the honey vault. All in favor I'm of like ste- twitching. <laughs> All in favor of stealing the money, even if it means murdering these guards. Hands up. Just I'm- do it quick, yeah. <laughs> All right, we've got two. Brumley, what do you? Are you that a no? Well, I don't want to murder anybody. Oh, yeah, yes, me neither. I, don't wanna- I uh, didn't hear that. Oh, oh God, honey, put me on the brain. I, I think we can do without murder. So I think we do it. All right, well, that's three against one. I guess I'll just vote so that way I don't look like the weird one. <laughs> We're all unanimous. <laughs> Boy. Uh, oh. So where is it? Give me one second. Um, 
Yeah, make make like a wall so that I can be hidden and have some problems. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to stand in front of Grumley, but he's three times as wide as I am. <laughs> There's apparently some PAX Unplugged news in the convention section. Ooh! Tun, so tun, tun. maybe we take a quick break. Yeah, let's, let's take, take a quick break. break. Yeah. All right. You ready? Yeah, ready? I suppose so. I'm going to get back to it. Oh, 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 he's changing. That's right. Oh, yeah. He's closed. Oh, he needed some privacy. I shove on, oh. uh, I shove on my dirty ancient uh, <laughs> cat tabard, my Marquisat tabard uh, from my past life. Okay, I'm ready. You can step aside. All right, I'll, I'll we'll, we'll back you up. Everything you're gonna you're gonna be able to handle this. What are you gonna tell them? I'm gonna go order them to go help with this chaos. You're just standing here guarding a government building. All right, so you're gonna tell them that we're changing up the guard, so to speak. No, I'm going to tell them what are they doing when there's chaos. They should be helping with the fire and trying see. to capture the people leaving a clearing. So you're going to take a commanding route. I'm going to route. be very angry and hopefully intimidate them into letting us through. All right. Well, just know that I'm here and I've got your back every step of the way and you have inspiration, which is a 1d8. I think oh. shaming them is a really good route to go. Oh, that was a good like, route to go. That's pretty meta. Route, route. Oi! You guards, what are you doing here? I'm gonna walk up. Uh, you will see that there, there are uh, two guards, <laughs> both rabbits. They snap to attention as they see uh, a dog approaching them. And they, and I would say that just being a dog in this clearing, they just presume that you are from New Felicia. Uh, okay. And they will uh, say, oh, we are uh, protecting uh, the, the government headquarters. I am Sir Grumbly of New Felicia. A uh, high-ranking military official of the Marquis up, and I must ask you, soldiers, what are you doing guarding this building when the palace is on fire and there are rebels escaping into the woods? Civilians are dying in the streets, being cut down by these uh, these vigilantes. No. Yeah. <laughs> now we are here under uh, explicit orders from the uh, government accountant. And who does the government at Canton report to? Uh, the the Viceroy. And we hear that she is dead. Exactly right, she's dead. You know who I'll report to? The Marquise. <gasps> oh. And I'm passing orders down straight from the Marquise herself. The Marquise de Cat. Oh, that and sounds she, very fancy. And she orders you to leave your post, screw what the accountant says, and go help with the chaos. Uh, make oh, a <laughs> Make an intimidation check. I like it when Grumbly does dog things. <laughs> oh, it's pretty good. You might as well use it. I'm just, I'm just even if you it. fail, you get to keep it. Oh, that's right. Uh, mm-hmm. Ten minutes. Intimidation. That's a twenty-four. <laughs> uh. They'll look at you, and uh, they look back at uh, back and forth at each other, and uh, they just say, uh, uh, "Well, well you know, you'll, you'll explain it to the accountant, right?" Yeah, don't don't worry about that. I'll I'll go in there and I'll explain very kindly uh, where you two went off to. Yeah. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, no, we'll, no. we'll we'll help we'll help, and then they'll look. Just don't tell the Marquis. If you don't go now, I might die of an inkling to chatter. <laughs> As they scamper off. That was really good. I can't believe you guarding an accountant. Maybe he's someone that I could be convinced to kill, Booker. Well, we can see what happens when we get in there. I'm going to try the door handle. Wait, is, is there a door? There's a door, yeah. yeah I'm going yeah. to see the door to see if it's unlocked. Oh, it's unlocked, yeah. Okay, I open it up. Yeah, you open it up, and there's, you know, there's a small. Um, little entryway as you hear uh, from down the hall and around the corner, which is in the direction where you had uh, gotten your gold from Clunk. Um, from there's the sound of uh, clinking metal and uh, and like joyous, almost like childlike laughter. Well, that, hey, that was really well done, by the way. Nice job. You got us in here. Uh, do we have to go past or towards that sound to get to where the, the, the strong box is? To, are you asking me or? Yes. Oh. I'm asking, I, I'm, I'm out of character, but I just like to stay in uh, the voice. The, 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 yeah, basically, to go down the hall and around the corner is where you know the strong box is, is where the, the till was. And that's where the laughing That's where the laughing's coming I from. assume somebody's uh, scooch McDucking in there. All right, well, <laughs> sure uh, uh, 
I wonder if that's the accountant. You think we can just deal with him and take the money? He's an accountant. Well, let's not kill him immediately, all right? <laughs> just, just hold on there, insane clown posse. You know, I've always wondered, how do magnets work? <laughs> I thought you invented those. I invented magic, not magnets. As in magnets. Oh, I thought it was all the same sort of thing. They kind of said the words kind of sound similar. You know, magnets, How magic. How do they work? <laughs> all right, I'll lead the way. Oh, I'll give it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I lead the way towards where I remember the straw box being. Uh, you. Thanks, <laughs> you um. You turn uh, the corner. And you see uh, that there's no guards in this room as you see the glint of gold as uh, spread out all over this table uh, are just are piles and piles of gold. There's the strong box that you had uh, that you had uh, gotten the gold from uh, Clonk is is open and it's still filled to the brim. And you see that there is a uh, vault. Um, or rather, a large, heavily uh, padlocked door behind this table, uh, and uh, basically Scrooge McDucking uh, <laughs> and like counting the coins and uh, throwing them around is a very, That's very spinning yeah. them up in the air. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, is a very, very well dressed, a button up, a buttoned up, um, button up. Yes, a uh, uh, plump-looking uh, a gerbil. Mother-in-law. Uh, or, uh, not, not a gerbil, a shrew. As uh, he, as as he, he seems to be about middle-aged, um, very well dressed. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> and he's so focused on the gold that uh, uh, that he doesn't that he doesn't notice you come in. All right, let's let's. Let me, let me handle this, and we won't kill him unless he poses any kind of threat or something like that, all right? Let's just, all right. But I've watched it, and I just put it back. Yeah. <laughs> we'll unleash the monster that ate both babies. <laughs> That's a pretty cool monster name. It is, it just is. the monster that ate both babies. Yeah, we'll keep that in our back pocket. I'm sure we can use that for something. Hey, you! <laughs> no! As you see, as the, the shrew uh, looks at you, and and uh, that there's, that he's very, uh, that he's wearing like a tie that's too tight uh, around his neck and he's kind of bulging out of it a little bit. And he looks at you and his eyes are wide and says, how do you get past the guards? We are the gods now. <laughs> oh, well then guard me. <laughs> From ourselves. <laughs> Government accountant Reynolds tells you to get out of here. <laughs> That's not gonna work, friend. It literally is a name tag. It says Reynold. Government accountant. Reynold? That's your name? Yes. It is. Well, listen here. Listen here, government accountant Reynold. No one gives me any respect. And now that the mark, that the, uh, what the fuck is her name? Uh, the the viceroy is dead. Then Reynold now is in charge of all of the taxes. The what? All of the, oh, oh, all man. of the gold that isn't taxes. That's just. <laughs> Listen here, we're gonna. We've come to take what's ours, and not anymore. Mostly because after we're carrying five thousand gold pieces, it's gonna be hard to carry anything else other than that. <laughs> but we're gonna take those five thousand gold pieces, and you're not gonna stop us because they're rightfully ours. Don't you care about the sanctity of a government bureaucrat's title? <laughs> I can't. Uh, I can't, I, can't, I can't think of I can't think of a single thing on this planet that I think of worse, lower than dirt. My don't 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 hurt me, but please don't take my gold. No one gives me any respect, but now they will. Oh, this is I just I just wanted to be respected. Listen and this, have gold. This doesn't have to come down to blood, but if it does. My friend Grumley here will rip you in two. Peggy will reduce you to nothing but atoms. And That's Peggy. And Hazel will probably chew on your bones because she's this weird glutton. Oh, I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> she's a weird glutton. So this doesn't have to go, this doesn't have to be bad. We just want the 5,000 gold pieces and we'll be on our way. 
You won't even miss it. I mean, look how much gold you have there. It's really not even fair that you have all that gold. And I just want to be clear, we're only taking the 5,000 because we can't carry any more. Look how much gold I have. That's no gold compared to your Where? entire swimming pool of gold. Why? Well, I, I don't want to give up the gold. Well, I, I guess... I guess, I guess I can. I guess I. you're right. Old Reynold doesn't need any of this gold. Reynold never gets any respect. And he uh, starts walking uh, closer to you. I need to make a dexterity saving through all of you. As he reaches into his pocket and throws sand at you. <gasps> oh, Little this, pocket sand! This <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> dexterity saving through, you say? Yep. yep. Oh, no. 20. Okay, you're able to dodge. 17. 17, okay, that's enough. Uh, well, no, so it, we're all within 10 feet, right? Yeah. Everyone adds an extra plus four. Oh, then I got a 21. 24. Uh, 19. 22. <laughs> the sand just flutters <laughs> down, like, down around us and we don't move. We don't even flinch. Yeah. He, he chucks it and there's and you don't even have to move and you see he throws sand and then a little clump and it falls on the ground. Oh, what, the, what the hell was that? I know that was not a good decision for you, friend. Beautiful Reynolds shrew singing voice. Me, 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 me. <laughs> And he just brings out of the room, carrying a handful of gold. <laughs> ah, all right, fine. He's not worth our trouble. Let him go. Let us just let's grab as much of this gold as we can and get the hell out of here. All right, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get out of Dodge. Though this whole, this whole clearing is going to hell. Uh, we're morally obligated to take as much as we can physically carry. Yeah, that's exactly right. I'm tax just, dollars. I'm just waiting for the the god of this world to tell us how much my little raccoon arms can carry. That whole interaction made me a little bit sad. <laughs> He was pretty pathetic. Well, you still have plenty of gold to come back to you once we're done. Yeah, he just didn't even have to run. I light a match. <laughs> Peggy, no! I just hold it. Clown, Peggy, no! <laughs> what, 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 what are you implying, Peggy? What are you going to do with that match, Peggy? I'm going to light a fire. No, Peggy! Peggy, no! I know, I think all the angry peasants have that covered. I'm gonna help to get it started here, so he has nothing to come back to. You try and throw sand in my face when I'm wearing a bloody clown mask? <laughs> I'm just gonna stick to the clown Really? Me, 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 me. And then you have the audacity to sing that song when you run past me? Me. Ow, oh, ow, oh, burn my fucking fingers, I gotta line another match. <laughs> You take one point of fire damage. <laughs> no, I will. I will. I'm gonna start taking, just filling my pack yeah. in my pocket with as much as, gold much as, gold as, gold I, as I can. That's reasonable. Yeah, I'll say. Um, I'll say you're easily able to carry amongst you ten thousand gold pieces. You know, what? I'm gonna take two points of fire damage because I'll let the second one burn my finger too. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's very good of you, Peggy. <laughs> are we doing? Uh, or should I track like? Whatever. I just let Booker track the money. Oh, that's terrible. I don't want to be involved with that at all. That sounds like the worst. Okay. <laughs> you, should hire, you should hire Aaron Count Reynolds. Me, 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 me. Kind of slick in the business. Me, 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 we officially have 10,000 gold pieces. Me, 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 that's government accounting, Reynolds. It, government. It's all evenly split amongst all of us. Government accounting Reynolds. Is is joining the rebels. No, he doesn't. You don't know where government accountant Reynolds Reynolds has gone off to. Uh, as, can we go? as it sounds like the, the bells are ringing, as order is starting to be restored. Oh, God. I'm going to miss the honey. Fine, fine. We have to get out of here anyway. We're, we're, let's, let's go past the honey. Let's get to the edge of the clearing. Then we got to decide where we're going. We can't stay here. we gotta, we got to find another clearing. I swear, if all I get out of this 2,000 gold pieces and I don't get a drop of honey, I'm going to freak out. <laughs> I take my halberd and just stick it through the nearest window and just kind of... It's a quick getaway! There's like a door right next yeah. to it. <laughs> Let's go! Come back in! <laughs> I'll use the door. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'll be like bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> You're like that 
that you like that tip talk of the pug that gets stuck in the doggy door. And like, <laughs> <laughs> the window is actually considerably narrower than you can fit through. And so, <laughs> Probably. What are you doing? You're wasting time. I'm doing a quick escape. It's a lot of glass shards. I'm going to pull you out. I'm stuck. It's in my bear claw. I'm going to hop around. I'm going to help Bugger. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to pull Curly out. <laughs> I'm going to go oh, through the door and push him from the other <laughs> side. Uh, in true Winnie the Pooh fashion, uh, which is now, come after me, mouse. You can't do shit. Uh, <laughs> in true Winnie the Pooh fashion, uh, you, it, you heave and you pull and you pull and finally with a pop, uh, Grumbly is pulled out of the window. Oh, bother. <laughs> <laughs> So All right. Try. In the aviary, and then to the edge of the forest. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go! And I'm like dragging you like a little kid at Disney trying to get to the ride. <laughs> like, yeah. I can't say that. Oh, I'm sorry. She missed me. <laughs> <laughs> and you, there's a giant <laughs> mouse. What did you just fucking say? <laughs> the old cat of nine. <laughs> You get my hand out of your fucking mouth, scum! Dangerous territory, we're trying to get right. They got their hands full, we're fine. They got got the attorneys already on the leashes. It's parody! It's parody! God, good lord. Oh my god. Please make this the next TikTok. Oh, this would be the Did I see you infringing on my fucking property? <laughs> oh no, he owns the tax he, house. Yeah, he's a bloody he's a bloody bat. Oh <laughs> my <Spikes>. god. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you don't actually see that. Uh, he's saving that for the BP. Yeah, yeah right. all right. We run to the apiary. To see if we can salvage any of this honey for Port Hazel. Uh, so you make your way to the um, the Queen's Apiary, and so you know that this is a very, or at least it was, heavily fortified, um, almost like a, a fortress of like of garden hedges, and uh, you had heard lots of buzzing, and you can just smell the honey in the air. As it is, it you can tell that's incredibly sweet. Uh, is and, honey flammable? I don't know. Don't you dare. <laughs> It's made of sugar. Should should be. Be. I mean, it would be caramelized, right? I was thinking the first Delicious. thing I thought of is that if there was a lot of fire and smoke in the air, the bees would probably be taking a nap. Oh, oh. that's how they like they you oh, smoke you the smoke, you smoke yeah. the hives before you go in and harvest the I honey. I love that. Yeah, I tried to make it less gruesome. Like all the bees are dead. <laughs> <laughs> honey is not flammable, oh. but it does catch fire easily. Thank you, WikiHow uh, oh, editor. God, <laughs> <fuck> like, <laughs> from oh. Firefighter Insider. Do you guys ever think that like trees, they're not that flammable, but like they catch on fire easy? Whoa. That's pretty crazy. Oh man. I mean, does that mean that we're not flammable? <laughs> Like, does that mean that, like, I do catch on fire easily, but I'm flameproof? There's an old woodchuck, oh. and he's, he's, he's smoking <laughs> something. He's smoking a pipe. And he says, hey, man, you ever notice how honey is inflammable, but it catches on fire easily? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? You a pum? I hope his name is Tyler. <laughs> Just loafing here with the town in chaos? Yeah, no, my name is uh, Zyler. <laughs> Zyler. It could be. That's a, pre- that's, a, that's a pretty interesting name. But um, then Alexa answers oh. from Amazon, pure honey is flammable due to having no water content. This is a good way to test if you're buying pure honey or, or fake honey. I'm going to go light all our honey on fire. On don't, don't you dare. Isn't that why you need like a candy thermometer? Because if it gets too hot, can't like the whole thing. Well, I don't know. Just because the burn. firefighters like, are telling me the honey is not technically flammable, but it does catch fire easily. That guy so sounds like a big know. dumb idiot. Okay. He, uh, he, 
he inhales very deeply and he says, Alexa, this is so sad. Play Despacito. <laughs> And then he just starts singing to Oh, book it. You see a shrew that come out and say, me, 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 me. Go away, Randall. It's Alexa. It's Alexa. No, it's real. No, I'm I'm Reynolds' twin sister. Alexa. Alexa. Alexa, what's the weather today? It's fire. Me, 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 me. <laughs> and she runs away. Alexa is honey flammable. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we're probably setting off people. Alexa, <laughs> Alexa, <laughs> drain bank account into Legends of Avantress Vault. <laughs> Alexa, order a fifty-five get the gallon drum of water-based lubricant. <laughs> <laughs> Or my personal favorite, Alexa, play fart noises. <laughs> it's, it's actually pretty good. She'll it's be, really it, good. It'd be like a slight pause, and then she's like, <laughs> "That was a wet one." <laughs> it's really fucking weird. It's Sorry, really good. Polly. And Do you need else. anything else? <laughs> uh, well, thank you, Alexa. Uh, and you make you make your way up to the apiary, and you see that there are uh, lots of clump of uh, very large uh, honeybees that, through the smoke, uh, as it is wafting through the air, are uh, on the ground, and they seem a little drowsy, um, as it seems to be. Uh, and that had once been heavily guarded with large towers of trees built all around this uh, place. You can hear a very slight buzzing, um, but it seems as if the uh, many of the guards have been drawn elsewhere. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's like, it's like, it's like me in a candy store. Oh, <laughs> I'm so excited. I'll make it quick. We don't have all the time in the world here. Uh, uh. I just kind of tiptoe through the bees and and find my way. Make a perception check for me. Uh-oh. It is advantage. Uh-oh. Oh, no. It's an eight. An eight? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So you actually see uh, that there's a large, uh, it almost looks like a cartoonish uh, like yellow hive, and it's dripping with this gold, shimmering orangey gold honey. Uh, it, it looks like a precious metal, um, as it's 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 like the, um, it's like in Winnie the Pooh. Uh, you hear, ha oh, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what did I fucking say? Uh, <laughs> Stop dropping my titles! <laughs> <laughs> um, as it's it's dripping down like uh, like like from the Winnie the Pooh scene where he gets into the tree and it's just a, a beautiful treasure trove, and it smells absolutely divine. Guys, it smells divine. Oh. Do you have any like vessels to use? Surely you have some sort of a pot that you can put honey in. Like a honey pot. <laughs> Do I have a pot? I don't know. Hazel, what's wrong with your face? <laughs> you like eight million jars. I would say you have a very yeah round plump. This is honey. H U N N Y on it. Yeah. Honey. Are there bees in here? Um, you don't see any bees immediately. Hazel's in the lead here. Okay. Yeah, there, there were yeah there were some that have been were crawling around and sleepily. I twitch says Hazel gets two dollars. <laughs> two dollars. You're a hungry girl. Yeah, so I would put a, pull out my my honey pot from because I had stolen honey from something else too. Yeah. So like my empty pot that I had from that because um, I think I gave the rest of that to Benji. I would take that out. I would take like I dump out my water sack and like prepare to fill that with honey. I'd be like. Getting my pockets ready for honey, <laughs> like anything that I can put honey into. Yeah. Uh, when you leave the apiary, you're just gonna be like. <laughs> basically, yeah. And as I'm trying to fill this, I would like scoop yes. some in one for you and one for me. And scoop some and into my mouth and into the pot and into my pocket and into my mouth. And like. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you see uh, Hazel dive in and she's scooping up the honey. And. Uh, in in this uh, this strange uh, space, there's kind of a strange echoing as you can hear the sound moves uh, weirdly, uh, uh, bouncing off of this uh, thick gooping honey Ew. that is a strange, very thick consistency, Ew. and um, you, the three of you, 
can see, uh, ha- it happens in a lightning, uh, in a flash, as a massive stinger descends from the uh, from above Hazel and pierces into her back. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> As huge insectoid legs as a colossal, monstrous uh, bee, perhaps the queen, uh, descends guarding her honey as Hazel begins to get carried off. I need everyone to roll for initiative. Fuck! Uh, as you're gonna take some damage. Holy shit. Wow. Does Grumley step on a bee? (laughs) Like clink down the stairs. (laughs) Grumley, yeah. That's a great question. Uh, what? Does Grumley step uh, on a bee? So Grumley steps on a bee. <laughs> oh gosh, I, I stepped on a bee. <laughs> <laughs> you said, well, there's actually this is probably the smallest bee in oh, this, and it you. just completely uh, goes through your armor. Thank you. thank you for that. I finally rolled like absolute trash. Um, seven. As Hazel, you're going to take some, some piercing and poison damage. I'm going to the end. <laughs> what a great question. <laughs> <laughs> 23 points of damage total, piercing and poison. Oh, and yeah, again, causing a saving throw. 23? Yeah. Oh. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, my dex is plus zero. 21. <laughs> okay, so you were not poisoned. Uh, That's good news. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, so some combat. Ouch. Yeah. Something about this Oh, I think heads. you know the one. What is it? Oh, yeah, why not? Right? Yeah. God, fucking what? Do you know how little that narrows it down? <laughs> he knows exactly what I mean. Because you're twin. Twin brain strikes it's again. It's that Muse song, basically. Muse song? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. No. No. I mean, we really don't. Still don't. I mean, I know a lot of Muse songs, but. Turn it up. It's pretty hardcore. Pretty hardcore. Uh, let me do... I don't hear any piece of this song. It's pretty intense. 20 to 25? Not me. You'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> 15 to 20. I got a 15. I forgot how to fight in this. Okay. Um, oh. Oh, wait. <laughs> no wood trailer, no! 15 20, by the way, who got it? Kels, 15. 15. 15. 10 15. A 14. I got a 6. I got a 7. Wow. So, 14 is Peggy, then uh, Booker, then Grumley, and then we're going to see where the the Queen Bee goes. She goes... Okay. She's enemy too, why not? Uh, As... Or should we do minis or theater of the mind? Let's do theater of the mind. Let's do theater of the mind for this. As there's a a huge bee that is uh, bigger than any of the insects, the gigantic insects that you've seen in in the woodland. Um, as it carries uh, Hazel off into this hive that's filled with a network of honeycombs uh, as she's doing that. Hazel, you go first though, however. Oh my god. So uh, I am in the air. You're in the air being carried off by this monstrous bee, these huge mandibles, and spikes are all over it. (laughs) Am I like stabbed through, or did he just stab me and then pick me up? Like, am I restrained? Like, what? Or am Uh, I... You're you're, you're grappled. You're grappled. Grappled, okay. Oh my god! I would take my uh, scout stick and presumably I'm underneath of it. I would jam it up into the uh, belly of the bee. Okay. Wolf for attack. Oh boy, 16. 16 hits. Uh, 12. 12 points of damage as you stab in and, and it cracks through the chitinous armor as it spills bug guts and it lets out this angry <laughs> buzzing as, it, as you see that there's, this thing has six uh, or three pairs of wings and it's buzzing violently. It's covered in spikes. Um, and uh, you actually get grazed. You stab up one of its uh, ar- spiked armor uh, pierces you for four points of piercing damage. 
Thanks. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, and with that, it is going. Uh, you see, as it as it's flying, carrying Hazel away like prey. Uh, it is going to look down at the three of you, and uh, you see honey well up uh, in its mandibles, and it bursts all down towards you. I need you all to make a uh, uh, dexterity saving throw. God, I Trying wish to that dodge was a me. honey glob. Uh, add a four. <clears throat> oh, I crushed it. Twenty. I got a, a twenty-six. Eighteen. 18, you all crush it, as you are not uh, restrained and blinded. Oh, uh, shit. As, Thank God. As you um, oh, are not encased in honey, as you're all able to dodge out of the way. It's it's almost <laughs> like a tidal wave of honey that bursts and erupts around this. Okay, um, that is her turn. Um, Peggy, you're up. Oh, shit. I thought that was a lair action. Okay, what can I do? Um, I, I'm, I'm going to... I'm making myself to... go. There's no lair actions. <laughs> Um, I am going to acid splash this biatch. I'm going to reach into my pouch and I'm going to pull out some like disgusting popping like uh, acidy <clears throat> swamp water, um, and I'm just going to chuck it. I thought it was from your. Oh my! Su- oh yeah, my super croaker. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. That's I pull, right. I pull out of my bag. I pop on this little tube of the vial, oh, and I pump water. my super croaker, and I spray her in the face with it. Super croaker. Uh, oh, thank you for the twist. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Happy oh. meal. Oh. Oh. Uh, and it's a dexterity saving throw. Natural one. <laughs> that's pretty good. A six plus four, so ten. Points Ten of points. acid damage. Okay. Uh, as you as Peggy uh, yeah. pumps and pumps and pumps and then <laughs> as it flies <laughs> up and it it, uh, it hits the her her shell and uh, her armor rather as it singes away and you see this uh, this uh, flesh underneath. Um, with that, it is uh, Booker's turn. I'm gonna see that my good friend Hazel is in trouble. And uh, <laughs> I'm gonna uh, uh, sing a little tune for her because I'm, I'm worried that she's uh, gonna be toast here. And I am. You get a line and I got a bowl, honey. You got a line and I got a bowl, babe. You got a line and I got a bowl. We'll go down to the crawdad hole, honey. Sugar baby mine. And I'm going to use a uh, healing word as third level for 3d4 uh, plus 5 healing. I love that. Gotta That's give amazing. It up. Gotta give it up. Thank you. Oh, uh, not great. That's going to be 11 points of healing. That's, I mean, yeah. where I'm at, I will take it. <laughs> you, uh, <clears throat> you hear this and you feel very inspired and it's very sweet and uh, you feel like you can hold on longer. As hit points do not represent just your physical health, it represents a, common, a totality of your mental, physical, and all other attributes. Well, thank you for that. Yeah. Is this in the DMG? Wow. Okay. Wonderful. 245. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, and that's my whole turn. Okay. Uh, with that, I believe it is uh, Gremlin's turn. Uh, how far away is this bee? Uh, far Just enough that you can attempt to... Uh, the one that you stepped on? <laughs> no, no, the, the big one. <laughs> uh, I would say you could probably t- attempt to make a jump at it to, to get to it. Uh... Is is this is it holding Hazel? Yes, it's carrying it off to a large uh, layer. Is it within sixty feet? Yes. Hey, hey, you big B, hey, drop! And I'm gonna use command. Nice. Uh, and it needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Fifteen. Okay, I would say that you're able to do that, but how are you going to justify it in the in this world? Um. I well, basically yelling at it and startling it so much as I bark, drop. Uh, might startle it, or if I need to do something physical, I guess I would like. I don't know if I could like jump and grab the stinger and like shake it. I would say you uh, leap forward into the air, sixty feet. You've never seen such uh, <laughs> such dexterity from Grumbly before. As he grabs on and just how extreme this is a massive bee, but Grumbly is a ch- uh, chunky boy. And suddenly, um, rolling a natural three, uh, this uh, 
you, the, this bee is trying to shake Grumley and spins around and you see as uh, it's too much weight and you all collapse to the ground as the bee crashes <laughs> down. <laughs> I need you both to make uh, dexterity saving throws. Oh no, you can add four. Eleven. Uh, hold on. DC's 15. 20! So you're gonna take half of this. Half of 14 points of bludgeoning damage. And oh, if you, you failed, yet, you? if you failed, you're on t- the bee is the queen bee is on top of you. Oh, uh, and you're gonna take an additional uh piercing damage. So she failed? Yeah, she did. She failed, but uh, six points of piercing damage. Me? Yeah. Oh, God, stepped on by a bee! <laughs> <laughs> no. With that, Hazel, you've been you've been released from this bee as it has fallen and it is on the ground, uh, thanks to Grumley's weight. What was the... It was seven points, half of 14? Yeah. <laughs> it made me pee! <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could flee! <laughs> 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 Um, okay, so it's on the ground. We're on the ground. Um, ah, sorry. There's honey all around. Oh. Show me my actions. What's it doing? Froze. I was froze. Stagnant. You could, um, okay. whack it with your stick. It's like really comfy at me right now. Okay. Um, I am going to uh, take steady aim at this bee that has just hurt me. Uh, And I am going to... That's a bonus action. And then I'm going to whack it with my scout stick. Okay. Uh, So that will give me advantage. Natural 20. Oh, Oh, God. Sneak attack damage. That's huge. Oh, baby. Okay, that's so that's freaking massive. Eight. And an extra 3d6. Do I double the 3d6? Double all of it. Okay. Double so, all the 3 so and 66. Jesus. Jesus. Plus Can 5? I have 2d6? Plus five. Yeah. Yeah. Gracias. Let's get fucked, baby. Grumpy got stepped on by a queen. He's just came on. Uh <laughs> wow. 18. Smack. Jesus. 24. Uh, 29. 36. Oh, That's pretty bad. Plus massive. 5. 41. 41 damage. Uh, <laughs> you walk over to it, and it's uh, it's on top of Grum. It, the, it stepped on a pug. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I stepped on a pug. Uh, uh, as it collapses on top of Grumbly, her spikes impaling your friend, uh, and you run up its weak spot like it, a boss, a video game boss, exposed. As it's, it's flashing red, the angry uh, honeybee. As you well, stab like in the ring, there's like orange smoke coming out of the weak yeah, spot. and you stab into it, and it explodes into uh, this uh, this ichor. It's looking very rough. Its cracks are. Uh, spreading all over its shell as it's buzzing angrily at you. That was my honey! I, I stole it there in square! <laughs> Peggy, you're up. Oh, I'm a... I thought it was the enemy's turn. Oh, it is the enemy's turn. You're right. Shh. <laughs> oh, with that, you. it's going to use its... It's going right. to get up. Uh, wait, is commanded? Does it want you to do anything? Um, How does that work? Let me see how long it lasts. Uh, uh, technically, it does all of that on its turn. Okay, so yeah, whatever. Uh, so yeah, basically, it, it, it passes its turn. Okay. Uh, it's going to uh, get up, and it is going to angrily um, uh, take its stinger and stab towards Hazel, who it's just stabbed it. Twenty-two to hit. I'm going to use my reaction and cast silvery barbs. 
Oh. I'm going to open my mouth and you're going to see King George fly out as I stare at this bee. One bee flying out of the mouth of a frog. And as my eyes go lopsided, I'm going to stick my tongue out and pull King George back into my mouth and say, you could be next. And uh, that distracts them long enough that they must re-roll the d20 and use a lower roll. <laughs> yep. That is does a 15 hit? It does not. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. <laughs> I then choose a different creature I can see within range. The chosen creature has advantage on their next attack roll. Ability check or saving throw makes within one minute. And that is going to be Booker. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Uh, and with that, uh, she's gonna, right. the stinger is going to miss as she's very distracted. As she's going... Uh, <laughs> She uh, stabs into the ground, and uh, with that, she's going to attempt to grab Grumley with her claws and carry him away. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Natural 20. I made it in no mistake. Um, well, uh, I also have silver bars. You do it! You do it! Fuck the DM! I'm going to use my reaction to get a silver bar as I'm still playing my instrument. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, excuse me. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Me, 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 me. Uh, me, me, me. Get him, my girl. You slept too late, honey. Honey. Get him, my girl. You slept too late, babe. Hey. Get him, my girl. You slept too late. The crowded man don't pass your gate, honey. Sugar, honey. baby, mine. Uh, and I will cast silvery barbs. Oh, so, book is uh, Oh, they will have to. Uh, <laughs> they'll have to re-roll the d20 and use the lower roll. That's natural one. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm using a twisted dread. <laughs> All right, that's totally fair. That's fair. <laughs> I know that face. It's natural four. Mm, I love oh, that. Which to plus in Marty? <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> oh, close, buddy. Close. close. Okay. Um. <laughs> and you get to choose someone to give the advantage thing to. Um. I was gonna give you inspiration anyway. You can give you can give it to Grumley. All right, I'll give it to Grumley. Grumley okay. can use it. He goes after me. Oh, that was so nice. Uh, Peggy, you're up. Perfect. As it misses. And I guess it's still angrily trying to defend the tunny. So I'm gonna pump my uh, super croaker. <laughs> I didn't see that. I didn't see that. I'm gonna pump my super croaker. And uh, I'm gonna ask it splash it in the face. Okay. Dexterity save. Bro. 14. Misses. It fails. Ten points. Ten points. As it's another blast of acid uh, hits it, and it's looking it's looking rough. As you are just burst after burst of the super super croaker. Uh, with that, it's Booker's turn. I'm still flying. Okay. What you gonna do when the lake runs dry, baby? What you gonna do when the lake runs dry, baby? What you gonna do when the lake runs dry? Sit on the bank and watch the crawdads die, honey. Sugar, baby, mine. And I'm gonna cast Dissonant Whispers at a second level. <laughs> so I need a wisdom saving throw from this, uh, from this queen bee. <laughs> Okay, natural five. It fails. <laughs> There's no I way. love this. I love having an instrument. Uh, they're going to take nine, uh, 15 points of damage. I'm going to do this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if the bee, well, if the bee could understand my my uh, banjo play, uh, they would become with an overwhelming sense of grief, knowing that their only source of livelihood the crawdad hole has dried up and all the crawdads have died and it causes them such anguish that they too just died. <laughs> you see a look of existential horror wash over the queen bee as she looks around and sees the honey and she's scooping up and you see the bee that Grumley has stepped on. 
And she scoops it up in her claws, her horrible, uh, faceted eyes is looking at her crushed bee and all of the sleeping bees and her honey, completely unguarded now, absolute pandemonium. And it reminds her of a song about crawdads and the, the dead crawdads uh, is, is, a, is a symbology for uh, all of her dead hive. Uh, and the horror and heartbreak <laughs> from such uh, a terrible realization uh, from the onslaught that you've done to her, uh, you 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 just see uh, the a sad you hear a sad buzz and then just collapses on the ground and dies. <laughs> I, I I can't believe that worked. That was really beautiful. Ah, it's gonna be kind of depressing at the end here. But... Well, it's that's kind of life in the dim one, right? It's a little depressing at the end. Yeah, I guess that's true. Are you all right? Is everyone all right? <laughs> Oh, I've got a lot of blood mixing into this honey, but it still tastes really good. Oh, oh, Hazel. Ah. Now I just have two stabs in me liver. Oh, God. Um, all right, everybody just... just well, know I think you know, at least more you've more got you two should. livers, so... That's true. Oh, I do? Yeah, so we could just take that one out completely, and you would be fine running on the second liver. Oh, well, you know how to do that surgery? Sure. Oh, well, then, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I will uh, while they're having this conversation I will continue to play uh, a little tune uh, just to keep things going and, and cast a mass healing word at a third oh level God. you all feel very inspired and you steal yourselves nine points of healing for everybody in the room oh my god I needed it I too needed it I just almost the took nine points queen bee dies and all of the sentry bees and soldier bees that was co- were coming to its aid have also thought about the crawdad hole drying up <laughs> and how Stupid. pointless this apiary is now that there is no queen bee how can there be queen honey perhaps the entire supply perhaps all of the entire economy of click clock crossing perhaps may go down uh, you don't know Who's to say? Who is to say? As they all fly away and you're able to gather as much honey, a little bit of blood and gore mixed in I'm there. covered like in head ichor. to toe in, in honey at this point. Oh, I yeah. just slathered my entire self in it. And I read, I am your queen now! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like on a sugar high from how much honey I've eaten. Oh my God, I was going to ask you if this was all worth it, but it appears that it has been. We almost died for this honey. Honey has antimicrobial properties. I feel great. Hazel, I have a question for you. Yeah. Have you ever eaten the blemis off of a pudding? Oh, um, my sheer odds, I guess, probably, but I don't know that I can recall. You know when you leave your pudding out for an hour or so without refrigeration? Oh, no, you probably wouldn't. You know when someone else leaves their pudding out for an hour or so without refrigeration and then you find it and it's got that skin on top of it? That's called the blemis. Uh, Booger vomits. (laughs) Booger actually just vomits. Oh, yeah. After all the days activities catch up, I'm hearing the word blemis (laughs) and being described by Peggy. Booger vomits. And it's not it's not Nestor's cooking. No, no, it is just it's the stress of the day yeah. and hearing about the blemis. Have you eaten that before? Oh yeah, for oh. sure. Do you like the way it tastes? I wouldn't kick it out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's all. I was just curious. Do you, do you have any pudding? No. I could get naked though. I, I won't stop you. <laughs> we really need to be getting going. Did you get any of honey? I Did don't, you try no, it? No, I don't want any more. I don't want any more honey ever again. Ugh. I finished just filling anything that I can find. Yeah, you're um, you feel everything is sticky. Stuffed to the gills. Yeah, line. your cheeks are just filled. Out to with, yeah. It's 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 one of those things that how honey is like so hard to wash off. It's like you it's gonna be in your fur for weeks. I hope to be just like fully encased, like a like yeah, a it's, it's like mosquito, a, but it, instead of amber, it's just honey. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like Toph when she has that like armor suit, except it's <laughs> it's hazel and honey. Yeah, uh, and what I would I want. like to fill a jar with honey. And keep it yeah, person. yeah. Uh, I'm gonna like lean down and like l- try to lick it, but I'm actually gonna get like my snout in it, and then just like for the next three hours, I'm just gonna be like, 
I'm just trying to get it off my tongue. It's just so sticky. I just yeah. can't get it. I'm just like, that's really... Oh, I can't get it off. Oh, it just is so unpleasant. The best thing about honey is it just sticks around for you. So whenever you're ready, you can you can get it eventually. You know what's also really great about us taking this honey is it's probably going to be worth more than gold soon. Oh. And when the economy collapses. Well, I was thinking more along the lines of while the queen bee was alive, she could continue to produce the queen's honey. But now that she's dead, what's here is all that's remaining. Oh, oh this is a finite supply. Yes. And so huge demand. What have so we that done? means that we are going to have quite the fortune on our hands eventually. Well, man, this is uh, un- un- unfortunate. I, I, I uh, don't know why this went this way. Uh, I didn't even. Uh, this is finite. I can't ration this. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to. You don't have a choice. I can't do it. Well, I've already eaten like a lot <laughs> more than I should have. Your eyes are really bloodshot. I'm like, my pupils are yeah. like this big. Yeah. This is extremely dilated. I'm so, uh, I mean. Your maybe, feet are swollen. Oh, God. Maybe, I can't feel them. Maybe they'll find a new queen. Is that how bees work? Maybe. I don't know. I can't say that I've ever That's true. I have an this, experience. This bee could have had a specific type of, how do, honey, how do bees make honey? Is it like. The pee or something? I think it's vomit. I've never really thought about it. <laughs> yeah, but what if this p- particular queen was the only one that vomited this suite of honey? Oh, and so even if they find a new queen oh, to God. make more honey, it won't ever taste like this well. This is simultaneously the best and worst day of my life. Well, I mean, I guess our, our relatively unceremonious murder of this Majestic ancient oh, creature. How are you feeling? You stepped on a bee. Oh, I did. Well, yeah, and I got then I got stepped on by a bee. Um, but Booker sang to me, and it was very nice until oh, it's it, nice. I mean, it was sort of like a like a you know how sometimes being sad's kind of nice too. Anyway, I feel a little rejuvenated from the from you know the old banjo playing. Glad I could help. I guess we really need to get moving. Oh. Uh, save that honey. Don't eat it all in one go. Oh. Do the best you can, and we gotta get out of here. I'm just like licking random parts of me that have honey on it. <laughs> I'll try. So, what's I'll try. our plan? Where are we gonna go now? The city's burning b- behind us. We've stolen all of the gold. We've destroyed the the queen bee that made their honey. We've killed their leader, and we've started a revolution <laughs> that's now heading out into the forest to, to completely destroy all life within. So, what are we gonna do? Is there like a fun place we can go gamble or something? Oh, well, this really went pear shaped. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, you say it all together like that. They wanted us to go s- to stick a brush, which is south. So I oh, said yeah, we go we as gave, north as possible. We gave all of those rabbit children a drunk duck father. So <laughs> that's a lot of damage. Uh-huh. Yeah, I guess I guess so. Um, I don't know. I mean, they, they wanted us to go to Sticker Brush, but I don't necessarily want to get wrapped up in that. So where do we go next? Oh, then? and we gave them a weapon of mass destruction, a gigantic bear. Yeah, well, yes. we, we definitely couldn't have killed the bear, even if we had wanted to. So That's true. It's kind of the best scenario, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about is that eventually Inspector Jarvis is going to have our faces on posters in every clearing controlled by the Marquis Art. Maybe we can go somewhere that doesn't have that. Well, why don't we go to those clearings first and put up posters with his face on them? <laughs> Got him. Why well, haven't no one started that before? I don't know. Wow, you really are smart. No wonder you invented magic. Oh, we could I blame know. the Viceroy's death on him. We could, so he yeah. he turns eyes and murdered her. And then Marcus Hart will be like, maybe I'm next. We better oh. kill him. I mean, that's not a terrible plan. I don't know how many people would actually believe it, but it it would certainly sow some more discord as we walked around. And as we now realize, we really enjoy doing that. Yeah. We are the agents of chaos. (laughs) Yeah. You know, it does kind of seem that way. We could call ourselves that. Call ourselves what? The agents of chaos. It's not very pleasant. Like, hi, who are you? Well, not my name's Peggy, and I'm an agent of chaos. I preferred the the, the foggy bottom band or whatever we were. 
<laughs> That's a long time ago, Grum. <laughs> it was a long time ago. Well, I'm a froggy bottomed. <laughs> you sure are. I know. You want to see it? <laughs> if you would just put your clothes back on. No. <laughs> We've all seen it plenty of you times. You can put you? my clothes back on. You never do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you got me there. She's got a point. Yeah, Hard to argue that one. Never thought of it that way. <laughs> <laughs> can we take a look at the map? Because I, I can't even remember what our options are. Oh, let's pull out a map here. Um, yeah, all right. Uh, where are we? So we really shouldn't go to New Felicia. Uh, it sounds like the worst possible idea. We might get recognised. Um, although we're becoming it, infamous, you know. That's pretty cool when you think about it. Um, we could go down to Nookington. That's where I'm from. I could go home. You could go home, but it is controlled by... I guess everything's controlled by the Marquis. Yeah, we could go up to Rob Barrel Falls to get as far away as possible from Nestor and all the rest of the crazy loons. I mean that 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 girl Ginger really wanted us to go to Sticker Brush. I just I don't know if that's what we want to get roped up in. I mean, it might not be a bad idea at least to lay low for a little bit, you know, let let the whole Inspector Jarvis thing kind of blow over. And it might be a good idea to start doing some recon to see what's going on with the Woodland Alliance. Because I was thinking initially, like, you know, these they're taxing people, they're stealing innocents and killing people. So obviously, like, nothing good's going on here, but... Then they're talking about burning down all of the forest, you know? Yeah, like so that. there's something nefarious going on with them, too, and the only way to find that out is to go to their home, burn it to the ground, and take no prisoners. <laughs> um, um, well, I don't know if we have to go that far. Right? Is there any option where we don't have to burn something down? Yeah, we could just go and ask questions. Oh, that sounds fine. We'll we could start a call. I know that... Bitsy would really like that. Bitsy would like that. We have a couple of options. I mean, if we want to start heading south, we could go to Nookington and, you know, maybe see Hazel's family. Hey, has it been a long time since you've been home? I probably know in character how long, since we've been traveling together for, for like, years. I probably do, too. So, in yeah. Know that. That, that, oh, wow, that's a, <laughs> that's a determinant amount of time. I probably well, have not been home in... in Oh, I don't know. How long? I don't know. How long? Have been doing I would shit? say it's been called, like, like days. Like days. A, me, probably a couple months. Yeah. yeah. A couple months. I haven't been home in a while. We could go see my family. I told him to, you know, rise up and head to the forest or don't. I mean, we don't want to put them in danger, right? No. As long as you don't think that this would cause them any harm. There's like so many of them that they're, they're practically a little army in their own right. So I do have one question, and correct me if I'm crazy, and this is just totally out of hand. But do we know if the otters operate in this clearing? Sorry in, to bring that up if it's a You do. Subject. You saw um, Riverfolk Company outpost and right on the river. In and Click Clock? So, in Click Clock, yeah. In Click Clock. Okay. Yeah. So theoretically, if I'll bring them, if I'll take a look at this map that I have conveniently. We could, you know, take a barge down, and you said you wanted to gamble. Maybe we can stop by the casino or on our way through Muckbed Creek, and then we're right by Sticker Brush. That might be the fastest, most direct route as well, and the safest path. I don't have to go through the woods. Yeah. We've been in the woods a lot. I mean, we have a little money to burn now. We could certainly afford it. And we can swing by Peggy's old workshop. Oh, yeah. Do you have any interest in that? Burn that place to the ground. Oh. You're I really in a burning mood. You invented magic, probably. It was one of my first uses of fireball. Do you have like a pocket watch where on the inside you carved a date that you burn it down? And just to always remember, you know, like, oh, this was the day I invented magic. I lost my left nipple that day. Wow, Ew. that is serious. Holy crap. Do frogs even have Oh, nipples? yeah, I have a watch right here. It says so. last Thursday. Never forget last Thursday. <laughs> I got this from Big Fuckers. 
<laughs> they, they don't have none of this going. <laughs> oh, Big Club. I didn't see Big Club girl at all. I got it all the stationery of all the names that weren't Bitsy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my vote is taking a vote. That's my I, I, unless you really want to see your family. I just think you know maybe not mixing them up and all this might be better off. That's fair. And if I go home, they're gonna want some of this honey. And my little, my little brothers and sisters, I always want the honey. We should and just I, kill them. Well, I just didn't want to have to share it. We don't have to. All oh, right, them. we just don't have to give them any of the honey. Then they're just really, you know. The gluttons is what they are. We should kill them. It's really a terrible trait that I've tried to um, guide them out of. Um, but it's true. Uh, and the only just thing to do it. about a glutton is to kill it. You're really the, scaring the me. The punishment <laughs> for gluttony is death. Oh, that seems severe. <laughs> it's an unfortunate thing. Yeah, we should go to Nookington and kill Hazel, Hazel's family. I don't want to go. I want to <laughs> go on the boat. <laughs> We're not. We're not gonna go kill family. I think, I think they family. moved. Actually, we're just we're just gonna take the boat as far south as we can go. I, you know, to be fair, I don't even know if the Yadas would take us. Uh, we will be crossing through different faction territories, you oh. know, and then ultimately they may not even take us into Stickerburst. But if they take us as far as we can get, then that, that's good enough for me. Well, it'd be nice because we know they're pretty neutral, right? So, like, if we and ever you get, know them, you know, we're not all of them. Well, I don't know all the Yadas, but you, you know, know like some how others. they operate. Yeah, you know. from are they going to make us eat those disgusting clam sandwiches again? Oh, th- those are the best part. <laughs> That's the whole reason we talk to the artists. I'm pretty, like I'm pretty sure the clam sandwich I had had old clams in it. Well, clam you know, I had a pretty good clam strip Reuben once. Mm. He's, he was, I mean, I don't know. He's fine. A clam and cheese sandwich was what I had. Oh, Ooh, that sounds a little. Yeah, gross. I don't think that they, they probably that's like a more like a prank sandwich. I don't think they actually served it. That's like when you go and a they say, oh, it's and the cheese. local specialty, but they just give it to tourists because it's cheap. Yeah, exactly. Well, it wasn't, it, on it it wasn't cheap at all. It was really expensive. <laughs> well, you know, I just mean cheap to make. Yeah, it's like, it's like you, a massive upcharge. Yeah, it's like you freeze pineapple and you whip it up a lot and you put it in a cup and it's basically like and a free. You know, the, hard, the, the worst part about it, it was supposed to <laughs> come, come with... <laughs> <laughs> the worst That's part about it huh? was that it was supposed to come with a side of French flies, but none of them even said "wee oui, wee." Oui. Well, that's a travesty. I'm pretty sure they were American fries, and all they were crying out for was freedom. <laughs> we were a lot of French flies up in New Felicia. They only start talking talking about "we." Oui. It's kind of weird. There are at least 286 flies in the world at any given time, and I guarantee you. Is Not it? a single one of them, at least in where the otters are, is a French one. I mean, Hazel could go through 286 French flies in like two seconds. That's true. It's like once you have one, you really we be, can't just have one. They'd be extinct. Once you pop, you just can't stop. Yeah. You're going to pull them out, Rich. <laughs> it's like, just shut up. So, as you think about your options, oh, geez. you, Sickerbush is an option. You just were talking about Muckbed Creek and, and Wart, uh, Wart Wallow. You know that Rye Barrel uh, Falls, there's a lot of work needed, uh, as well as Reconnoiter Ridge. Um, if you wanted to lay low and try to get a job and earn some coin, you know that Grizzle Paw is the most remote area, a lot of underground places to, to hide, literally. Uh, and not nearly as heavily patrolled uh, as it is basically the frontier of the Dimwood. Um, you know, the Nookington obviously has Hazel's family, definitely more heavily patrolled, but there is a bit of an uh, underground in the figurative sense of a smuggling black market situation um, that runs through Nookington. Uh, and then you know that... Um, that Muckbed Creek is effectively, it is ruled by the Erie, but the uh, given how much uh, capital is brought in by the Otters, uh, the Riverfolk Company, uh, the Erie basically gives them free reign uh, and helps kind of back up their, their muscle um, as those options. So what do we think? Um, I don't know, Booker, what do you think? Well, again, I mean, either way, they're taking the the, the river is going to be the easiest, the fastest, and probably the safest. 
I don't mind going to check out what's going on down in Sticker Brush, but you know, we we get if we go down there, there may there may not be any turning back. We don't know what we're gonna get roped into. I don't know how dangerous Wart Wallow is. Well, that's where Peggy's from. Well, I mean, the okay. clearing itself should be perfectly safe, provided there's not you know some horrible unrest that's happening. You know, I, I just want to get as far away from here as we possibly can. Which di- uh, which direction did the um did they flee? Well, they were to- they were heading south uh, west towards the direction of uh, so where like, but Benji no, and so Kusai they were in the woods here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. And then they, they were gonna probably find their way down here somehow. Okay. Why would they go trip, straight down? Trip for them. Um. Yeah, I don't have any interest in just going through the woods. So I mean, uh, I kind of like the idea of do we lay low in Grizzlepaw and just you know see what holds what you know what we can find there or just do we go to sticker brush and, and you know and just totally get away from any kind of Marquis art force I feel like as much as I would enjoy going to Grizzlebar it's only a matter of time before we're probably found out I think we gotta get out of Marquis art territory as fast as possible well, let's go south then alright let's talk to the artists and see if they'll even take us that's a good point they might just say, hop on, we're going, where are we going? All right, well, I'll let you do the talking. I think I saw, um, you know, they had an outpost right down that way, so. All right, we'll go check it out. We'll go check it you out. You make your way through the town. Order is starting to be restored. Uh, whatever kind of looting and, and the, the, the all of the, 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 the members of the Woodland Alliance have uh, made their way into the woods. Um, and order has been... Uh, Almost mostly restored, uh, although uh, the, there's much of the town that's uh, much of the clearing that's still on fire, <coughs> and um, there are still some uh, roving bands of of, of looters and um, people taking uh, advantage of the opportunity. You arrive at a large uh, building on the river uh, with many docks and, and and many boats tied up, uh, and you see you hear uh, there's like there's several long lines as uh, it says uh, new uh, uh, new prices um, of uh, <laughs> new prices uh, uh, fleeing uh, Cliff Crossing question mark uh, uh, new special uh, new special rate 500 gold pieces <gasps> that's that's river robbery <sighs> well it's we not we can afford it though with all the gold we got that doesn't mean we should pay it it's not to be unexpected they're an enterprising people all right they have an opportunity to make the money they're gonna do it we oh, have the money and we're gonna give it self-respecting business person haggles well, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do, all right? But you have to understand, there's a lot of demand here, all right? Not a lot of supply. We need to get out of here first. Yeah, well, tell them that we're not fleeing. Maybe they won't think, you know, if we're fleeing, then it's like we're desperate. But if we're just, like, going on a trip, um, casually, and not in a big hurry. Do you want to be rounded up and hanged? Uh, well, um, I already... We are a little today. desperate. I'll do what we can do. We'll see what we can do. You need to know it. All right. Fine. Okay. I think I'm just, the honey's wearing off and I'm getting a little cranky. Well, you're plenty more. Just keep eating. Oh, I had to ration it. (laughs) Uh, If you don't eat it all before we get to Nookington, then your brothers and sisters are going to eat it before they're slaughtered. No, we're not going in there. Oh, oh they're gonna be slaughtered. (laughs) Never mind then. (laughs) Jesus, Becky. Great bear in the sky! Why would you say that? That's an interesting deity to worship. Do we, what are the gods? Do, Mike, what are the gods? <laughs> well, you know that the there is a, a mysterious cult that worships a dragon god, the great dragon. We know of deer. You know that there's or some mis- deer. mystical deer, and you can probably have a great bear in the sky. Sure, why not? I imagine the cats the game, worship right? some sort of. You know, God. Some sort of like God yeah. since day one. Yeah, there's some sort of yeah. I imagine a church, a tree, just a pantheon, like a yeah. gods. God. So by my gods, you know all that stuff. I try to find someone who looks like they're in charge. Yeah, there's there's several <laughs> lines. There's uh, supplies is all crazy marked up. I cut the lines. Everything. Excuse me, I, yeah. excuse me. Coming through. We got it. We, we we very important business. Get out of our way. We're coming through. Look out. 
uh, and you see that there's an otter uh, standing, uh, and he greets you with a smile, uh, and he says, Welcome to uh, the Riverfolk Company. We have special uh, death of the uh, Viceroy rates. Incredible. Fine, thank you. You're I... welcome. Oh, well, okay. Well, oh, did you do that? Well, no, no, no. We're, we're, not, taking, does, we're not taking credit for anything like yeah, that yet. But... We did that. We poisoned it. Oh, my God. Yep. Business is booming, so I appreciate it. You're welcome. Could we get a discount? Well, no, business is booming because I'm jacking I know, up prices. because we killed her, so. It would be a shame if someone were to unkill her. Oh, my God. And I give a really menacing stare. Getting out of hand very quickly. <laughs> you should let Booker do the talking. Yeah, too late. I'm done. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No, you know what? I can't endorse any kind of uh, assassination. I am not. I. We are entirely... Uh, uh, apolitical, we are entirely neutral. So if you are with the Woodland Alliance, uh, oh, we're not. then I... We're with you know, your worst nightmares. We're I'll, known as the I'll agents cut you a deal. of chaos. No, I'll cut you, you, no, that, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> They've had a lot of honey. And I sugars, haven't had a single bite of The sugar's honey. getting to the heads. And we see, didn't do I stick it, my man. finger in covered honey we're in your just mouth. simple <laughs> vagabonds looking for the next clearing. Do you all. see my clothes covered in blood? It's not mine. Tell him book of play, a lot of this is junkie. mine, but this raccoon knows so many otters. I We're even, friends. I couldn't even count how many otters he. We're knows. heading to Nookington. No, we are heading to the river. We go there. I don't know if you know where the, the river goes. You got. <laughs> We're, we're going to walk wall Well, we're going. Muck we don't Creek. need rivers. Oh, we're going to kill my family. Oh, you're going all the way to Mugbet. Well, that'll be a thousand gold. It's, it means it's each clearing. What in the hell? Per, per each? Per, yeah. Per person? So that'd be 5,000 gold pieces. Because there's a mouse right up here, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> What's your name? I... It's none of your business. Oh, they, I didn't got that here. That they didn't have my name here. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you, you you actually unironically shop at Big Clucker's General Store? <laughs> That's pathetic. That's what I said. So you want the fairy service or not? It would be a shame if your fairy service was filled with a stinking cloud of horrible stench <laughs> that made it so no matter how desperate someone was, they would be unwilling to ride on your vessel. That's true. Okay, Can't terrible. be worse than the smell of clams. <laughs> oh, tr try me. <laughs> try me. Are you trying to extort money out of me? Are they out of the Riverfoot Company? Why I'm just, is it working? I'm just simply saying, she wasn't there. Um, help me. Can just... you give us a second, please? <laughs> I collect everyone. What? Um, What's going on? So, look, here's, here's the What's thing. the plan? He was starting to look so, like he might be getting intimidated when, um, if we were to roll for it. You know, yeah. When I used to work for the Marquis Art. Yeah. Um, How long ago was that? We, I don't know. And you were fired, right? D dishonorably discharged, oh. fired, you know, mm. a little different. Semantics. Yeah. Um, we would do cleanup sometimes about, like, you know, we'd go to a warehouse and it was, you know, some folks that crossed here, yeah, the River Folk Company. Yeah. It, it, they they won't hesitate to, to cut our throats oh. in an instant. Grumley, so you're saying that the strategy of threatening the mob is not a good one? <laughs> Yes, oh, exactly. yeah. no, I thought it was going mob. great. I thought it was going fast. I was going to let it see how this played out. Yeah, I, the mob. Is it the mob that just orders? Um, are they the mob? Here's the thing. What do you think you let me mob? just talk like that to the mob for like I, five minutes? An order is, is never just an order. All right? They, they can be ruthless. And again, this is just in my experience. Have you ever seen an order? They, like, they roll around on their back and they... Smack rocks together. That's with true. Stuff. They're like really. They look cute. super cute. So here's the thing: they don't even. Ain't I a stinker? <laughs> you didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even <laughs> just stick to the rivers. Sometimes they, they kind of go out in, in, in the clearings and try to sell their goods. And and and. They should stick to the rivers like they used to. They shouldn't go chasing waterfalls. That's right. <laughs> 
What does that mean? Oh, Rob Arrow Falls? No, they should stick to the rivers and the lakes like they're used to. Don't go chasing waterfalls. I don't understand what that means, but... Anyway, the point is, is old Booker said we shouldn't be threatening the mob! I don't even know what a mob is. They're very violent, evil people! They eat clam sandwiches and they ride around on a fucking boat! When they're not killing people... What have we been doing for the past 24 hours? Do you not see this frantic look in my eyes? I went from being a magically creating frog to a wanton woman of death and destruction, all right? Do you still have the clown mask on? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Six layers are slightly muffled. Yeah. (laughs) Peggy's actually got a good point. I think we're cracking in here. A mob. I'm losing it. So anyway, how why many don't people we, do you need to be a mob? Why don't yeah, we exactly. Stay Are we a mob? No, there are five of us. It's more about organized. Six of us. You, you, you're an agent of chaos. They're more about organized crime. I would say we're anything other than organized. That's All right, but well, what I'm going to tell you is organized crime can be deduced. It can be sussed out. There's organization to it. <gasps> Chaos, you can't plan for it. Chaos comes out of nowhere. Yeah. Chaos cannot be prepared against. Those are all very good points. I, I am suppose. shaking. I just need to get out of here. Yeah, so why don't we, probably, hold on, why don't we just share like a little picnic? Everybody but Booker, why don't we all split this sandwich? And I pull this Are you saying you, <laughs> are you saying it? Meanwhile, the bread is like super smushed, like something I like pressed on it's it. Like it's like a muffaletto, like, the gross. worst kind. Are you saying you want us <laughs> to have a teddy bear's picnic while Booker goes and talks to those artists? I never specified what Booker was going to do, but I only have enough sandwich for the four of us. Oh, do no sandwich. <laughs> so we're going to, Booker, we're going to Wait, are there four or five of us? Because I can't count anymore. Well, there are five of us total, but I can only split it four ways because... I can only cut a skirt to sell. Oh, that's so sad. In quarters. But Booker can't talk, stay, and Bitsy doesn't want any, she told me. <laughs> no, I never said that. <laughs> no, I, I, I've, I've been talking this whole time and you and I've been listening. Would, would you like a bite of, would you like a quarter of my uh, armor crease sandwich? Ew. What? <laughs> yeah, I, sure. That's a low even for me. <laughs> You've had words. Is it like gas station egg salad? <laughs> One can only help. It's, it's exactly like gas station oh, egg salad. Is that, a, is that a cracker? Oh, it's a tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that sandwich from Mr. Cluckers? Um, no, I've had it long before Big Cluckers. How long? Is before? Big Cluckers related to the chain Big Cluckers, Shuckers, and Muckers? <laughs> Where does Muck this lands? <laughs> Aren't they partially owned by the Riverfolk Company? I'm not sure if there's any relation. But anyway, just take this piece of sandwich. Here you go. And I pass out the sandwich. Why is the meat shove green? Over towards the otter. I, I will, uh, I'll walk over to the otter. I'm, I'm very sorry about all that. Let's start from the very beginning. My name is Booker, and we're looking for safe travels. Well, my friend. <laughs> Could he hear all of that? <laughs> I mean, just for the fun of it. <laughs> he's very clearly been watching you this whole time. You look over, he's like playing with a rock. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> he lays on his yeah, back yeah, and yeah, he's like clam with the, with the stone on his tummy. <laughs> and, he's, and he looks and he Wipes says, his face. <laughs> Safe passage, thousand gold pieces of person. Very fair price. All right, all right. Given well, the circumstances. I, well, I, I, or, you know, we can drop you off at uh, Ward Wallow and you can find your own passage south after that. I understand. Uh, fair prices, fair prices. But what if we could uh, help you out along the way? Maybe do a little uh, mutually exclusive, uh, mutually beneficial thing here. Cut half off the price. Maybe we uh, carry some goods for you along the way. Certainly you must have something that must need uh, s- smuggled, ferried, huh? Delivered. South? You look... He looks at all of you here listening. You all are vagabonds, right? That's one word for it, I suppose. Well, I mean, usually if I see someone as dirty as you guys, that usually means it's the vagabond. Wow, dirty's a little far. It's more like we're covered in the dust of experience. I would go as far as to say filthy. Yeah, no, that's what I would say. I would go that far and a little bit more. 
You looking to smuggle? What are you, you trying to, you're trying to, yeah, we'll help you're you trying out. to get made? You're trying to get a little, little piece of the clam? We'll help you out if you shave off half the price. I take the sandwich piece that Grumley gave me and <laughs> shove the whole thing in my mouth so my cheek like puffs out really big. <laughs> There's a lot of room for smuggling in here. <laughs> <laughs> you, I'll hand you my sandwich so you can make it even bigger. I'm going to shove it in that cheek. I'm just you know gonna what? siphon for later. <laughs> you know where we gotta go? Certainly there must be some delivery we can do for you. I think any looks. You all are crazy. Yeah, that's one. She's one especially crazy. I kind of like it. What's I'm, your name, sweetheart? My name's Peggy, and I'm single. <laughs> she says from behind the clown quick. mask. You want me to take my clothes off so you can see what I'm packing? I'm gonna leave the mask on though. <laughs> am, I, am I gonna learn why they call you Peggy? <laughs> <laughs> this, this metronome is just one one extreme to the other. Jesus. <laughs> Take my clothes off. <laughs> you know, Peggy, I'm not sure where you learned that this was a socially acceptable thing to do on a regular basis. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Well, to be, to be, to be fair, oh, I mean, it's, it's basically God. the theory of freedom. I, I kind of respect it. I Look, just feel it's it was a strong I, thing. It's what I always say. They could put my clothes back on. They never do. I know. Okay, I know a guy who I think uh, I think I might have a job for you if you want half off. Useful, perhaps if we get all the way to muck bed, then uh, maybe we introduce you to the Don. You do a good job for us, perhaps kiss a ring or two. If you say that you took care of the Viceroy, She's been a thorn in his side for quite a while. Yeah, no problem. Look, this is our first time talking to the Otters. We've done a little work before. We'll do it again. You've worked for the Otters before? Well, Who I do you know. work for? I, I know, know a lot of guys down there. Gino. Guy, there was a guy named Vinny. Vinny? Oh, yeah, no, I know Vinny. It's been a long time. Gino. He's probably, unhinged. They probably wish that we uh, didn't meet at one point, but, you know, we... Look, it's not my first time talking to the otters, dealing with the otters. We've, we've done a little bit of this before, all right? That's all I'm saying. We're, we're happy to do it. Okay. But we need priority out of here and half off. Priority? I can do that. Thank you so much for the raid, Shatter Table Talk. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How to do? <clears throat> Welcome. Uh, Tofu Chipmunk, we have a chipmunk with us right here. Welcome. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, we appreciate a follow if you like Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, and join our Discord and for fun shenanigans. Wacky fuzzy animals. Welcome, everybody. Do you like animals? We're playing a campaign in the world of Roots for the board game uh, by Leader Games. So we're using DD rules. Yes. Indeed, we are. So in indeed, 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 indeed we, we are. Follow Harley Crow. Oh, oh thank Harley you. Crow. Wow. Thank Harley Crow. Tofu Chipmunk. Tofu Chipmunk. Ah, thanks. Thank you. If you insist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we do. Oh, we do. <laughs> they always insist. Well, <clears throat> oh dear. Oh dear. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Scampy. I really like that name. Thank you. You're welcome. Maybe I'm, one day you'll learn why they call me Scampy. Well, you figured out why they call me Peggy, and I'm going to slowly put my clothes back on. Yikes. <laughs> oh, okay. You have a deal. And uh, you see as he goes underneath the counter, and he you see him pull out this strange, uh, uh, like uh, almost like a sharp object. It's very knife-like, but it's flat at the end. And he waves it up as if he's going to strike, and then he goes and shucks six clams. <laughs> and he hands them all out. No, if, you, if you're going to be part of the crew, oh, don't you, you guys are basically a glorified crew. We know, the, we know the deal. We know the drill. That's pretty cool. Do Tell I have to eat this thing? Oh, yes, you do. It smells kind of funny. That's the point. That's the joy of it, Peggy. You'll learn to love it. To the Riverfolk Company. To the Riverfolk Company. Yeah, yeah. 
to the river folk. You, you, you uh, clink the clamshells together and down the clams. <laughs> And uh, he says, oh, well, actually, perfect timing. We should probably get out of, get out of Dodge here. As you hear the uh, loud marching of footsteps coming down from the major road uh, from the north um, uh, and from the south. As uh, you hear the sounds of uh, Marquisat forces reinforcing uh, Click Clock Crossing, you manage to get onto the raft, um, joining Scampy. Uh, as uh, there are a couple other... Um, denizens that are paying for passage uh some are bringing out their life savings not wanting to uh to stay here any longer not wanting to brave the roads that can be just as dangerous so uh throwing their lot in with the riverfolk company heading south and as you uh as the 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 barge uh pulls away from the dock and you take off into the river uh into the night um, the dull glow of the slowly dissipating fires of Click Clock Crossing behind you, you see um, amidst the throng of Marquisat soldiers looking around vengefully and resolutely, you see a hound as Inspector Jarvis is on your trail. Fuck and that that's guy. where we'll end the session. Mm. Fuck that guy. I'm so Fuck glad whenever we get to skadoodle, skadaddle, it's time to paddle. with that guy again. Thank <laughs> you.